Good morning, happy Wednesday, and welcome in. Glad you guys could join us here in the Ear to Ear Magic live stream this Wednesday morning, May the 4th. And before we even get started, I need to make sure uh, to all of those Star Wars fans out there, we need to make sure we wish them a very happy Star Wars Day and May the 4th be with you. So, you may be thinking, well, why are we in Epcot? <laughs> So, uh, we'll get to that in just a second. I'm glad you guys could join us again. Thank you so much for being a part of our Ear to Ear Magic live streams where we uh, would like uh, to be able to bring you some fun from the parks every uh, Monday through Friday. So, welcome to the stream. Um, we are generally in the Disney parks and Universal parks Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We'd love to have you guys join us on future adventures as we have fun around the parks, talk about the latest events, see what's going on for real and live action, and have you guys have a chance to actually ask questions about the resorts, promotions, and travel when it comes to Disney Universal and anything else that has to do with the travel industry. Susan and I are travel mission travel agents and would love to help you plan your next vacation. Uh, and uh, just let us know if we can do so. But we are glad that you guys are here. And if it's your first time, uh, my name is Chris. I am your Disney travel agent in the parks, your camera operator for today. And I will be taking care of all of you guys, except for when I can't, which is why we have great moderators here in the chat to make sure that we follow not only the YouTube community guidelines, but our own guidelines to keep it a family friendly stream. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. I'm glad you can have some fun with us here at Epcot. And uh, today we're gonna be checking out the Connections Eatery and Cafe, a brand new place that just opened up just about a week or so ago. And our first time here is a live stream to be able to check it out and enjoy some of the foods and things coming out here today. So uh, welcome in guys. Let's see, let's check into the chat and see who we have here. We've got Mike B is in the house. Good morning, Mike. Sarah is here. Good morning, Christine. How are you doing today? Disney Iris, good morning. Happy Wednesday. Mandy Adams, good to have you in. Naomi, good morning. Good to see you. And I do have my water, so I'm gonna be hydrated today. So, let's talk a little bit. Why are we here in Epcot and not in Hollywood Studios? Well, kind of two reasons. One, really. Uh, first and foremost, um, the park reservations for Hollywood Studios were gone several, several weeks ago as all the Star Wars fans were getting ready to have an enjoyable day there in that park. Uh, and uh, for us, uh, there's still park hopping that's available after 2 p.m. So we might be able to go over uh, after having some food here, checking out some other stuff at Epcot. We might make our way over to Hollywood Studios to see what's going on there. Mainly it's going to be treats and the like. Um, not a lot of extra stuff uh, other than just merchandise and treats for Star Wars Day. Now, if you're not going to be able to be in the parks and you don't have a park ticket today, there's several other ways uh, you can celebrate Star Wars Day as far as treats and eats and stuff around here around Walt Disney World. First of all, if you're going to be over anywhere near the Polynesian uh, today, they're going to have a, I think today and tomorrow only, uh, they will have a very cool uh, thing over the Pineapple and I. You can grab yourself a Star Wars Day Sunday. Uh, it is going to be a gray soft serve with like cookie chunks some crispy pearls and a millennium falcon on top of course you can anybody can walk over to the pineapple and i over at the polynesian and grab themselves a dessert there or if you're going to be over at disney springs you can also go into amaretz patisserie the french bakery there and get one of the lightsaber bars there are five different flavors to choose from so you can always go in and grab a star wars treat there as well over at Hollywood Studios, they will have a couple of uh, drinks available that are just uh, Star Wars things for the next couple of days, including this one with a glow cube, this punch, which will be served at about three locations across uh, the Hollywood Studios area. You can also grab yourself one of these Dark Maul tarts, uh, which is a mousse with a uh, almond slivers and the shortbread cookie at the bottom. The always popular and almost always around over at the Backlot Express is the Wookiee Cookie. Two oatmeal cookies with the cream inside, a little bit of a uh, belt on top. As the joke is always, the Wookiee Cookie is great, but it's always a little chewy. 
uh, over at Batu. There'll be a few more other areas of milk and things like that. And outside of the park, you can also, or outside of the uh, Galaxy's Edge area, you can also get yourself a nice uh, funnel cake. Um, today is a pretty good weather so far. Sort of like yesterday, we're going to be having some nice sunny skies. Uh, but things may get a little crazy in here a little bit later on tonight. So, um, real quick, let me pop up the weather forecast for the next few days. And so we got uh, forecasted rain later on this afternoon. Good, I think there's a good, really good high chance of rain uh, tonight. Uh, high today of 87. Tomorrow's going to be also, again, chances of rain, high of 90. Uh, Thursday, 93, 94 on Friday, which was up from earlier this week when we had a forecast of 92. And then 88 this weekend with a little bit more some spring showers as well. All right, so. I'm gonna do a quick refresh, guys, just to make sure, because I just got off the Wi-Fi, make sure I get you guys in here and uh, we don't miss anybody. So I'll be here right back. There we go. What getting you guys comments through? So I was a little bit a little bit behind on our comments overall. Now I can see everybody. Awesome. So and if you guys uh, are watching for the first time and you do hit the subscribe button, do us a favor, introduce yourself in the chat. We'd love to have you guys uh, introduce yourself let us know where you're from so we can invite you to be a part of the chat overall uh we have our magic crew is what we refer to everybody in the chat today uh and i tell you this is a great group we're hanging out with uh at this point we are 8682 members strong in our magic crew and uh we're really close to hitting 8700 so if you hit that button today come on over into the chat have some fun and chat with us ask questions this is not about you watching me have fun that's not what these live streams are about it's about you guys getting involved, asking questions, seeing what's going on, and learning about what's going on here at Disney and around other places. Uh, and if you see something you want to know more about, please feel free to ask. So now that I've actually got comments, <laughs> I wasn't seeing comments before. Uh, GME 1970, good morning. Honey Bear is in the chat. How you doing, Honey Bear? Cynthia, yes, I have my hat. I found it. I found my hat, finally. Now I'm only missing one hat. I may have to order another one. Um, <laughs> God can form some pretty gnarly puddles. Still can Hollywood Studios. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna see any. Uh, hopefully it's gonna stay blue and blue skies and nice uh, weather uh, while we're still streaming today, but who knows what may happen here when it comes to the weather at Disney World. Uh, good morning, Ms. Michelle, how are you today? Good morning, Nikki. Uh, Jimmy Nancy said that weather is better than what we had last night. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's like the second uh, showcase lagoon there, Cynthia. It's huge. Um, Lisa, I did message you on Instagram. I have to go check that. Make sure I've got that. Uh, and by the way, uh, Lisa, uh, we had our uh, Patreon call last night. And um, let me see if I get this. Oh, there we go. I got your message. Thank you. Uh, so Lisa, I hate that you missed it last night. We did have our Zoom call, our monthly Zoom call for our patrons last night. Uh, and on the call last night, uh, we gave away two items and they were available uh, giveaways. Uh, eligible people, always the top three tiers of um, the uh, the Patreon group, and we gave away a popcorn bucket, the brand new uh, Skyliner popcorn bucket, and also Lisa, uh, Lisa won 
our surprise gift, which was a very exclusive, only available if you're staying on the Galactic Star Cruiser coffee mug from Halcyon. So congratulations to Lisa for winning the Galactic Star Cruiser mug. And uh, congratulations to Jay Wild for uh, winning the Skywriter bucket. I will be having another drawing this month just because I have something else cool coming in this week. For again, our stage managers, our producers and directors over on the Patreon. So if you've always thought about joining that group and would like to be involved in that giveaway, go check it out at patreon.com forward slash year to year magic. Um, Welcome in, Rachel. Good to see you. Disney Copper! Dio Sam Eagle, good morning. Happy Wednesday. Catch up. I'm always so far behind in the chat, but I love talking with all of you guys. Welcome in, Bruins fan. Good to see you. I know, and Lisa couldn't get into the call. I feel bad now because. She not only did she, she won the prize, so uh, we should have join the call. Uh, we'll uh, we'll have to make that up to her. Welcome in, Julie Smith. Oh no, I've broken my right ankle by slipping on the stairs at home. I'm sorry to hear that, Julie. I think you're just getting over the uh, the last thing, weren't you? I'm sorry to hear that. That's got to be rough. And I hope you heal fast, heal well. Awesome. Thanks, Lisa. Appreciate that. Yes, and happy Star Wars Day to everybody. May the fourth be with you. Welcome in, Lisa. Our other Lisa. And thank you. Uh, we just received a PayPal from Lego Man. And he just sent over. So, of course, you know what that means. Well, I gotta sing. I have to sing the PayPal song because we just got a PayPal. We just got a PayPal. We just got a PayPal. From the Lego man, always reminding us. Thank you so much for the PayPal, my friend. Always reminding us of what the day is. And today's day, May 4th, or Star Wars Day, May the 4th be with you. Thank you so much for that PayPal for five dollars and four cents. May the 4th be with you, Tip. So thank you. I appreciate that, uh, Andy. That's awesome. So uh, let me do this before we get too far along, because I have to make sure I don't I finish this out. Um, I'm, we're gonna we're gonna grab something to eat. We're gonna try uh, eating here at the eatery today. And I'm actually going to get a couple of things because I want to have more than one thing to try with you guys today. So I'm actually ordering more food than I should. But there's only one person of me, so I gotta you know. Now um, we'll t we'll go over the menu in just a second. Let me put this order in real quick. Awesome, got that Lisa, appreciate it. All right, so the order is in, boom. And uh, let's go over, the, we'll go over the entire menu before we get into it. Uh, but before that happens, I want to walk around and show you guys what the eatery looks like, what the cafe looks like. We'll do a little bit of uh, checking out the place before our food comes up, and then we'll grab a few bites to eat. Let you guys know what a review of those are, and then we'll make our way into Epcot, have a little bit more fun, and see what maybe we can do some park hopping. We might be able to take our way over to Hollywood Studios and catch another treat for the special Star Wars Day today as well. Uh, I don't expect we're going to get any merchandise because that's kind of out of the way, I think, for the most part. Um, but I'm not too, too um, in the upset about that just yet because there's so much other stuff to do and see. So I think we'll be okay. Cliff, good to see you. Toes go in first. Welcome in. Anybody else who's popped in? Fancy Nancy, welcome in. Good to see you. I've been good guy. 
thank you for popping in. We have a lot of you guys who just can only pop in for a few minutes. Thank you for saying hello, Captain Good Guy. Thank you for that like today. I got it, Lisa. Thank you very much. We'll get that out to you, and uh, I think you're going to love This is a really cool item, so uh, we may have to get some other cool things like that to give away as well. Um, all right, so I'm going to turn the camera around. I've been sitting here, actually, I've been sitting here for the past hour just kind of chilling. Nobody else here for the longest time and now it's starting to get busy because the Connection Cafe does open up at 11 so now it's really starting to show um, but let's talk about some, we'll walk around let's look at some of the features and things that we've got going on and I'll make sure I've got two orders boom so we've got about 20 minutes to look around before I got to worry about my food coming available now one of the really cool things uh, that they have here at the Connections Cafe, I think it's kind of a play on words, the Connections. If you sit in some of the bench areas, they actually have outlets underneath the seats. So when you come in, you sit down, you can either plug in your, your charger or your USB. Uh, they're all along the walls. Of course, none of them are located on the interior of the dining room. All the edges so they can actually run power. That's a really cool feature if you need to charge up so you can have your stuff here, even if it's just a USB lightning cord or something like that. What I would recommend you do, this is just from what happened to me this morning, because there was nobody in here when I first got here. I sat down at a table on the other side of the dining room. I plugged in my lightning cord with the USB, not the plug. Uh, the USBs weren't working. I had to make my way down. I had to go through five tables before I found a USB that worked. So some of them are not quite connected just yet. So uh, if, you're, if you really are in dire need of some charging, do a test as you go around first, just to make sure you're not sitting down, got food all spread out, ready to go, and then you realize that you can't charge. So, uh, but it's cool that they have that. Had to do the same thing with the plug. There was one of them over there, it was a white plug, uh, and it was not charging. So. The uh, tables in the middle, they have some bars. We'll show those in just a second. They look to have wireless charging, uh, but I don't think I have that capability with my phone. But if you do happen to have a wireless charging phone, you can just set it up on top, and hopefully those will work as well. Kind of cool features, and I'm glad that Disney's thinking about that and uh, making that available as well. Welcome in, Jennifer. Good to see you. Lauren B., how are you? We talked about birds a lot last night on the on the Zoom call. You missed out. Had a lot of talk about birds. All right, so enough of me. Let me put my other device in here. And let's go walk around and take a look at the cafe, shall we? Thank you guys again for joining us here. And let's look and see what we've got here at Epcot's Connections Cafe. Uh, we're actually, I'm a streamer, so we're live on YouTube at the moment. <laughs> I'm always watching how you can do it. Well, if you ever want to watch live, uh, we're it's here to hear magic in the name. Okay. And we're at Monday through Friday, we're in one of the four parks over here. I want to do <laughs> we uh, we came over today. This is the first time we've had uh, to eat over at the Connections Cafe because when it opened the week before, I wasn't able to get over here. So we're I'm coming sure over just to try it out. Was that? You know a lot of oh yeah, we. Oh yeah, I know. Nate. Nate. <laughs> just gotta look for the fedora. Three times a week, you know. It was just a, it was just in Epcot the other day with uh, JoJo. So yeah. So uh, last time I ran into Nate was just uh, I think it was about a week or so ago. I I saw him so doing anyway, well, but yeah, we'll 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 see everybody every once in a while in the community. So <laughs> nice to meet you. All right. So let me show you guys what I was talking about. Over here in the center tables, 
do have wireless charging. So as you're sitting down eating at the bar, you can just put your phone up on the top bar and let it charge. That's kind of nice if you have that feature. Does anybody in the chat have a wireless charging phone? I know, Lauren, we had such a great talk about all the birds. Hey, how's it going? How are you doing? It's our friend Jill over there. What you guys up to? Some Starbucks. I, I went, there was a long line. It was a, it was, it was long, but I don't know if it was any longer than it is normally. So you're talking about charging. We were charging over here. You guys were charging over there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So what do you guys, what's your plans for today? It's my oh, a happy birthday. Hey. So how are you going to celebrate? Wait a minute, what how are you going to celebrate your birthday? Oh, cool. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. That's about it. Yeah. So, nice, nice birthday. Yeah. Pretty boy. Yeah. So, happy birthday as well. So, and then we're gonna, uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna grab a few things to eat here. And you guys have already eaten here before, though, right? Oh, he's in there right now. Well, I'll come. Back. I'm gonna, I'll come around in just a second. I'll show everybody the chargers. So, we've got, like I said, charging stations all around the place wireless charging there make sure like i said make sure to check some of the charging stations were not active so if you are really in dire need of some charge make sure to check before you set all your food out and get set down um, they do have a neat section nice usb and plugs so uh, that is a nice feature it's always good to be able to see that you can do something like that multitask you know Welcome in, Patrick. Good to see you. There he is, basking all the glory. Hey, How's it going, my friend? Drew, how are you? Good. How are you doing? So, Gabe and Joe, you got a whole entourage here today. All right. Nice to meet you guys. Today. 22 again happy birthday mother had her birthday yesterday 24 all right yeah. happy birthday <laughs> sister brandy when, when's your birthday august uh, we're gonna have to come back in august no no, <laughs> no it's really really hot in august there really is so uh you guys you guys come from michigan yeah. so how's the weather in michigan right now Oh, nice. Yeah, spring weather. Good stuff. Uh, and uh, you guys are going to eat at uh, uh, the uh, San Angel Inn? Yes. And I have that. And are uh, you guys going to go to Hollywood Studios at all today? No. no. I'm going to avoid it, I think. It's going to be nuts. Oh, um, it really is kind of crazy today. A part of me is like, I kind of want to go, but it caught... As part of me is like, I don't know if I'm going to do park hopping or not. I might just go to try some of the treats and stuff. Maybe. We'll see. But for now, um, I just ordered some food that should be up in like 10 minutes or so. And I didn't get the chicken sandwich, even though it looked really good. Uh, I wanted to try the French Bistro Burger because it's a little different. And because I feel like I'm bad, I got to try more than one thing. I also got the Generoso uh, salad. Did you like it? With the, with the small kale and the mandarin oranges and the chicken, the warm chicken. Um, I, so I'm gonna try a little bit of both, maybe take some home, hopefully, maybe. If not, I'll just be a pig on stream and just eat it all. Food review, food review. So, yeah, they don't, it's just, but, so, but quantity does. So sometimes you can get too much. And I'm hoping we'll get a little bit more food, you know, like I said, if I can make it up to Hollywood Studios, I wanna try a couple of treats over there as well. Um, you know, I'll probably either take the Skyliner or just walk. Sometimes I just walk over there because it's not too, too bad. So, well, uh, what, are, what are the big plans for this week? This week, not a whole lot. We went to Winter Park. Yeah, we went to Winter Park. Winter Park. Park. Yeah. Winter Park. There's a lot of places called Winter around here. Yeah, I did not. Yeah. It's sort of. Mr. Rogers. Yeah, we saw Mr. Rogers. Oh, cool. Mr. Rogers' house. It didn't look anything like they did on television, did it? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> What's? Uh, it's, it, but it's sort of like in Atlanta. If you go to Atlanta and someone gives you instructions on how to get the peach tree, 
You're in trouble. Oh, there's too many peach trees. It's peach trees everything. Peach tree, peach tree down here. It's winter, 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 which I think yeah. is funny because this is where people go to get away from winter. Yeah. And then they named everything winter. So. Yeah, so basically yesterday we spent our day in Winter Park exploring. It's uh -huh. never been there. Very cute place. And the Pinky Boat Tour. Nice oh, nice. Pinky yeah. Boat Tour is not very pricey. It's kind of neat. It's like an hour long tour. It takes you all throughout the chain of lakes. That's a really cool option. There are lots of local stuff that I want to go check out and do that we haven't even really really started to explore just yet. It's a beautiful area. So. All brick roads. Uh, I, I remember the first time we actually went down to Downtown Celebration. Uh, like two weeks ago. It wasn't something we did anything for for content. It was just we just went and I was like This is a really nice area and I just wanted to stop in all the little places and check it out So I think we need to start, you know, expanding out maybe showing some other places and what we do for it or magic so There's like there's a for instance have you ever been to the uh, the um, What do they call it? the farmers market down there at winter garden? No, on, on, on Saturday they have the winter garden like the uh, farmer's market we've been down there a couple of times and they just have booths set up everywhere and they have crafts and stuff like that but there's also a lot of farmers who come and set up and they just you know you, what you're getting is directly out of their fields kind of deal it's really cool you know the way to spend the morning yeah so at least you know what you know what you've got right there just you know still got dirt on it sort of thing so it's kind of cool Winter Park. Winter Garden, Winter, whatever. Winter Land, I don't know anymore. <laughs> FMF after we keep looking into moving the Winter Park Hold area. On. As long as you get a winter in there, you're doing pretty good. So when it gets down to like that 40 degrees where everybody here freezes. Yeah. 40 degrees is crazy. Yeah, you so. Funny. And then tomorrow we're just going to hang out at the house, chill out at the pool, and maybe barbecue a little bit. Awesome. Well, um, I'll, uh, I'll bring the barbecue sauce if you bring the ribs. Sure. So well, it was nice to meet you guys. Happy birthday as well. And uh, by the way, I know that certain people in this group have already ridden Gardens of the Galaxy, right? Oh, yeah. He's next. Yeah. So I'm 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 Monday. We get the ride on Monday. So <laughs> so that's cool. And uh, what? With no spoilers, uh, it's right here behind us. By the way, that's no, that's the monorail for those who are like, that's not. I've ridden that ride, uh, but just behind us is the Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. Um, it's 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 interesting. They have a stage set up there. That wasn't there before, was it? I wonder if they're gonna, they may be doing some sort of pro promo or something to getting ready for it. Yeah, some kind of commercial or something like that getting ready. So, and Chris Pratt just comes around Chris the corner. Pratt. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you've ridden it. No spoilers, but what, what what did you think? Is it is it up to the hype? Yeah. Yes. I even said to Zach on his Instagram, the Imagineer. Uh huh. Ridley. You guys outdid yourself again, and he actually liked my post. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it was good. Um, the uh, the thing about uh, this one is going to, I believe, going to start off with a virtual queue. Uh, sort of like Ratatouille did, Rise of the Resistance, uh, and also individual lightning lanes, which means you can buy your lightning lane, but you can't get it with Genie Plus, which is to be expected. Uh, and so it's going to be a little hard to get into it in the beginning. Um, but uh, here's the thing people keep asking, am I going to be able to stream it? Do you think I'm going to be able to hold a camera on that ride and, and, and show what's, or is it going to be sort of like Space Mountain? It's kind of kind of dark and kind of chaotic and so it drops it turns upside down yeah. spins around <laughs> so here's the funny when they first talked about this ride and they gave it a name i immediately told susan i said i i have a theory of what the thing is going to be about what the storyline is going to be and that's probably what i'm most interested to see is how close I got to my prediction a long time ago. Oh, so you didn't get to do a pre-show? Did they tell you what the story was, though? Oh, my goodness. I hope the pre-show's up and running next Monday. I think so. I think it's supposed to be for, Well, the first time, the first time we rode uh, Flight of Passage, uh, they didn't want us to go through the queue. They put us through the, the Fast Pass line. 
and we told them because it wasn't that crowded i said can we go through the queue and they're like well you can but it's long and i'm like no i want to see the whole queue and so they were pushing everybody through the fast pass lane and they let us walk through the queue and there was nobody with us i mean nobody because everyone was being pushed through the other lane so we got to take our time and go through it and like that kind of experience can be a big part of the ride Oh, I kind of, I want to know what the plot is, so I kind of know what's going on. I mean, I don't know if you've ever been on uh, Forbidden Journey, Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey, but if you go through there wrong, you have no idea what the storyline is. You're just kind of there. So, well, we're going to, ch we'll check it out on Monday and uh, we'll let everybody know what kind of what our thoughts on it were as well. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I'm trying to see if, I'm trying to see if I can get the kids out and see if the kids can come with us. I'm kind of nervous though, because I don't know if it's going to make me busy or not. I'm gonna bring a little baggie. Yeah. <laughs> Susan's gonna ride it once to see if she can do it because she gets motion sickness on certain rides. She can't do Forbidden Journey. She can't see Dark Tours, but Flight of Passage she can do. So it really depends on how it does and how it looks, you know, and how her body thinks it's moving or not moving. So we'll see. But well, you guys have fun. Thanks for stopping and saying hello. Yeah, take care, Magic. And uh, Gabe and Jill, thank you guys so much for uh, helping out and doing all you guys do as far as the mod side. And you guys have some fun today. It was good to run into you. And um, if, uh, if you guys see anything when you're out there, pop in and let us know. We need to keep an eye out for it. All right. It's nice to meet you guys. Thank you very much. Happy birthday again, guys. Good morning, Paul. Good to see you. So here, I'm going to walk up to the front and we'll get a view from the, uh, coming right in from the beginning there. Welcome in Tink64, good to see ya. So yes, that was Jill and Gabe. They are locals here, part of the Magic Crew and I know they were excited about their family coming in and preparing for that. So thanks for popping over and saying hello to everybody. So this is our Connections Eatery and Cafe. It's sort of split off in the two different sections. One side being the cafe on the side, which is the Starbucks area. Now, for those who are big fans of Starbucks inside the parks, you will know that the location that you probably tried at last time you were here at Epcot is now closed. It was always meant to be a temporary location until this place could open up and uh, we're now looking good for that. So I don't know what they'll do with that space, if anything. But this is all interior, which is really nice because now you don't have to worry about standing out in the rain to order your uh, your frappuccinos. <laughs> this seems like a caramel macchiato sounds good right about now. All right, so this is our cafe. I can smell the caramel. The great thing is that there are two lanes and two areas. So if they have it fully open and fully operational, it should go a lot faster than the, uh, the temporary location they had before. Of course, now you've actually got a place to sit down after you get yourself something to drink and eat. Whereas before, it was just kind of on your own in the temp location. They do have Starbucks merchandise available. It is very nice and airy and cheerful in here. Now, one of the greatest things I like about this place is the fact that their kitchens are open. They do have glass up just for health and sanitary safety sakes, but 
really kind of cool to be able to just watch and have them, you know, prepare certain items. We'll head on over to the cafe side. Got a pizza preparation area here. Pizza dough was being prepared earlier. Got pizza dough, they have pizza makers. Oh, Mamie, best, best of luck and health and healing fast. Thank you for popping in. Get some rest. We'll check back in with you soon. Now, one of the really great things about the eatery so far, drinks. On a hot day, you need something to drink. You got lots of choices. All Coke, of course. There's my Coke Zero Sugar option. So one thing I noticed that Disney is moving toward more often than they did in the past was places for you to actually refill your drinks. And I think that's important because, you know, when you're spending $4 on a drink and it's really, really hot, you know, I like the option of being able to <laughs> go get a refill. All right, this is our walk-up order area. Of course, there is mobile order as well, which is what I did this morning. I just put it in a mobile order. <laughs> Lots of bright spaces. It's a lot more open and bright than even the electric umbrella, which is the area that is basically replaced. Hello, Colin. Welcome in. I'll show you guys the menu here. This is our Connections Eatery menu. <laughs> These aren't the nasty drinks that I've caught you looking for. No, those are the regular Cokes. Those are the regular Cokes for sure. Welcome in, Princess Leia. So our entrees. The French Bistro Burger, gourmet beef, caramelized onions, bacon, brie, mushrooms, Dijon mayonnaise, and a toasted brioche bun. I did order that, and that's one of the things we're gonna try for today. Southwestern Burger with gourmet beef, roasted corn chipotle salsa, Oaxaca cheese, crema, chamoy, guacamole spread, and toasted bun. Gabriel uh, highly recommended a hand-breaded chicken sandwich. And of course, a classic burger. For pizzas, they have a five cheese pizza, a meatball pizza. Now the General Tso's chicken salad is the other entree that I did order just to have a little bit of a variety for what to try today. Petite kale blend, broccoli slaw, red bell peppers, mandarin oranges, edamame, crispy wontons, warm fried chicken, and of course the dressing. I have a couple of uh, entrees uh, options for kids as well. The cheeseburger and chicken nuggets. They have Coke beverages if you want a shake. You can also get an apple pie gelato shake, and mango coconut milkshake, which is plant-based, or watermelon mint aqua fresca. And of course, they do have some options for alcoholic beverages as well. Want to go check it out? Here's your screenshot. Get your QR code. Check out the full menu. All right, one of the things uh, I thought was kind of cool as far as the detail here is notice these are rolling pins. 
do they spin? No, they don't spin. That would be really cool. Wait, wait. That one does. <laughs> that one does. Those are all rolling pins. I wanted to show you one other more of the open kitchens. If you are like Susan and you are gluten-free, uh, they do have gluten-free buns available. One of the desserts they have is the liege waffle. Hello. Which they are making fresh right now. Welcome in Renaissance Bang. Watching them make the waffles now. But I know Susan is actually at the uh, the uh, doctors with the kids this morning. They're fine. They're uh, it's full health check, don't worry. <laughs> but they have gluten-free buns. And the gluten-free buns, of course, are wrapped and sealed. When they're toasted, there is a toaster over there specifically for gluten-free bread. So no other wheat can go in there, only these buns. So if you have a gluten-free or a gluten allergy, a great place to uh, grab a uh, bite to eat sandwich. Look at the coleslaw. I got, I got some coleslaw as a uh, side, so we're going to be trying some of that with the uh, burger that I got today. You can tell they're making the General Tso's chicken salad right there. Maybe be a little pressure when someone's watching you cook. Yes, I agree. Happy, vibrant music playing the entire time. We're in the dining room. So I did the mobile order, and it's been a few minutes since I told them that, uh, well, actually it's been about nine minutes since I told them that we're here. Still don't have the food up just yet. It might have been easier or faster for us just to order it directly from the, from the register. Jumbo and welcome in, Kadani Sean. So as far as just the way that the this place looks, not having tried, sorry, pardon, not, not trying any of the food just yet. Like I said, it's a lot more open and airy and bright than the electric umbrella. It's more space than the electric umbrella. I did like eating at the electric umbrella though, but it's kind of dark inside. But one of the biggest things I'm going to miss about the electric umbrella is the fact that there's not a talking trash can. At least I don't think there is. I haven't found one yet. You guys know what I'm talking about? Thanks for checking in, Sean. They did have good fries. <laughs> well, Push was the umbrella that, he, uh, or not umbrella, is the trash can that used to walk around Tomorrowland and talk to guests. But there used to be a trash can at the electric umbrella where you, when you threw food away, it would talk. 
there were like people inside of it. It was, uh, it was kind of funny. All right, we're at pickup number two. Our order is ready for 6087. I think that's my order right there. Good morning, Gordon. I think that's it. Yes, that's ours. Some of that coleslaw we were looking at earlier. Uh, Chelsea, uh, for Chris Edwards, 6087. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ooh, these are heavy. Ooh, wow. Those are some major plates right there, guys. Man, they did not. Sorry. No, you're fine. They did not skimp at all with the. Uh, use of the dinner plates. Ooh. Actual silverware. Yips. We've got ketchup, barbecue, mayo, mustard. Or catch up. I don't think I'm gonna need anything, but I think I'm already sauced. I'm already sauced a little bit. My burger's already saucy. Alright, let's go find ourselves a place to grab a bite. And if you guys are just jumping in, we're over here at Epcot at the Epcot Connections Eatery and Cafe. eat up here just to be difficult so yes I did order two entrees it was intentional a little crazy The French Bistro Burger. Burger with caramelized onions, brie, bacon, and a little bit of mayo on there. I ordered it with a side of coleslaw. You can get French fries, and I believe there's two other options as well. And the General Tso's Chicken. Salad with kale and the General Tso's dressing. I'll take a couple pictures before we take a bite.
All right. Enough picture taken. Let's try some food, shall we? Like I said, these are some heavy duty plates. Mind you, they're still plastic, I believe. So it's not like if you drop one, it's gonna break. So that's a good thing. You know, clumsy people like myself. I don't wanna to have to worry about, you know, breaking some fine china. back up with you guys oh so Sarah yes there used to be it with the trash can didn't move um, I still have video of it somewhere but the trash can when you threw something in it it had a motion sensor and when you threw it away threw anything into the trash can it made noises and, and sounds Sometimes it sounded like there were people inside the trash can. Sometimes it was talking to you back, you know, telling you to throw things away. But it was just, it was never really advertised. It was just kind of off to the side and people who knew about it was there, knew about it. But, you know, that was well before everybody and their next door neighbor became Disney creators. And it was a really fun little trash can. All right, so our General Tso's chicken has three chicken tenders on top that are sort of, instead of the, the sauce going all over the salad, it seems like most of it's just on the chicken. Add a mommy in here as well. Carrots, I see bell pepper. Strangely enough, the bell pepper is diced. Lots of times in this kind of dishes, you see the bell pepper has been stripped. This is the salad that Jill had tried. She said that she liked it and she would get it again. A lot of chicken in here. I got a piece of lettuce I didn't chew up. Watch Chris choke. So, again. nice presentation. Though I'm surprised I don't go ahead and cut up the chicken. It doesn't just look like you just threw some chicken tenders on top. The flavor is light. But it's enough. And I didn't just like kill it and like some places you just throw dressing everywhere. I bite at red pepper every so often, you get a new taste. Really, really good that way.
Look at me, Linda. My son and I are going to Epcot today. Awesome. Well, if you see me, come over and say hello. Love seeing you guys in the parks. Come by and say hello to everybody in the chat. We are real people doing real things. I might actually run out of lettuce before I run out of chicken. That is unusual. I had hoped that they would, they would keep the amount of chicken like this. Oh yeah, I'm gonna run out of lettuce. Page. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, we're actually DVC park covers on TikTok. We adore you all the time. That is so cool. So, yeah. are, you, are you guys park hopping over to Hollywood City or something? I hope, yeah, so. We hope so. I'm hoping. I'm, I'm hoping to try and see if I can do that as well. Yeah, I know. I think a lot of us are like, you know. The park reservations were gone so far ago. I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to park hop if I get over there. That's. I'm not really as worried about merchandise, but I would I wouldn't mind trying one of a couple of the treats and stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Exactly. But we've been watching all these guys just streaming, but they're all taking breaks right now. Yeah. Because so. it looks like there's like a lot of characters out there today. Oh, yeah. are there? Yeah. yeah. That's what, like at least what we've seen. Going on, so we'll yeah. see. Uh, a lot of the other people that I know in the community are all there this morning. I know. So I'm okay. I'm okay with letting them have first dibs. Yep. And then I'll go in there and we'll still check out stuff afterwards. That's yep, Tom that's and us I too. Say, you know, loving all those guys. Let them go. Yeah. <laughs> now, now we kind of have breathing room afterwards. Exactly. Yeah. When it clears out a little bit, that's yeah. time to go. Right. Well, hey, maybe I'll see you guys over there this oh, afternoon. Yeah. Right. Get Great to meet you. So they got the same plan I do is that, you know, go back over this afternoon when things have maybe died down a little bit over Hollywood Studios and we'll see what we've got as far as treats and characters and stuff like that. We'll do that after lunch. And for those of you guys who are popping in here a little bit later this afternoon, I always want to make sure that we uh, recognize, you know, the fact that it's Star Wars Day! In case you didn't know, it's so who in the chat chat are our biggest Star Wars fans? Who in the chat has been planning for this day forever? Did you wear something special to work today? Have you been watching the movies? I'm sure TBS has every single Star Wars movie playing back to back all day long. So yes. Um, it, it's a re-release of the Osaka uh, Saber. This time it comes in a wooden box and it's uh, numbered. I think there's 6,000 of them. I did not see the tag price. Did anybody know how much they're selling for? The fact that they're coming in a wooden box and they're numbered like that, 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 that tells you something right there. The most fun you can have is when you see somebody you know is dressed up really big and Star Wars, you just tell them, um, <laughs> happy Star Wars day. Oh, that always gets them all upset. So Puka, welcome in. What is for lunch today? So we're over here uh, at the Epcot Connections um, Eatery. 
the cafe is the Starbucks on the other side. And today we're grabbing, we had grabbed two things to try and share with you guys. Uh, the first thing is, we got the French Bistro Burger, and I have not tried it yet, because I've really been enjoying the salad. But let's go ahead and give it a try. The French Bistro Burger, gourmet beef blend, caramelized onions, bacon, brie, mushrooms, Dijon mayonnaise, and a toasted brioche bun. Here is our French Bistro Burger. With the Dio Dijon, there we go. Got the brie, the bacon, the mushrooms. So, a little different taste is what I was kind of expecting and at least hoping for. So, uh, let's give it a quick try here. That brie. About to fall off. Hmm. There's a little bit of Dijon mayonnaise at the bottom. Not quite enough, unfortunately needs a little bit more. It's a little on the dry side. The flavors are there. A large bite of brie. Brioche buns, nothing special about. <clears throat> the bacon's on the extra, extra, extra crispy side. I kind of prefer the half done. So, again, mushrooms, caramelized onions. It's a good combination. The only problem is the burger is just a little dry. You guys can tell. So I would add a little bit more mayo. I don't know if I'd have ketchup, but that would, I think that would take away from the other things going on. So I get a choice of what I was going to have with the side. A toast of coleslaw. I was watching them make the coleslaw this morning. Uh, before we get went live because all of the open windows in the kitchen area it looks really good there's a mayo based coleslaw to me is important no offense to anyone from the carolinas who likes the uh, mustard based It's actually really good. I would add a little bit more pepper. That's only because I do salt and pepper heavy on my coleslaw, but I'm weird like that, so you can't fault them for that. Otherwise, that is fresh. I can tell it's fresh. The shreds are really good size. And it's a good amount too. All right, let's just talk about our French Bistro Burger. 
It is a good combination of ingredients. I like the overall flavor. Unfortunately, the burger is a little on the dry side, which takes away from the experience. Um, I want to separate it from the coleslaw because I think it needs to be. But for the uh, burger, I think uh, we're looking at, fortunately, about three out of five. Three out of a five for uh, the orange burger. Now, I could very well add some condiments to this. Make it a little less dry. Probably would be better. But I feel like I need to judge it based upon how it's prepared and how it's given. The burger itself is unfortunately just, eh. Okay. As far as the patty is concerned. So, that's the French bistro. For the side, which is separate, you know, you can get French fries, you can get a mandarin orange, you can get coleslaw. This coleslaw? Yeah, I like the coleslaw. That's good, that's good coleslaw. I would definitely get this as a side other than French fries. So yeah, now that was the French burger, French bistro burger. Again, not bad. Just needs a few more condiments. Now, the other thing that I tried the General uh, Tso's chicken salad, which I've eaten about half of already. Show you guys. It goes in a large bowl. Of course, it's got that uh, lettuce and kale blend. It's got uh, the little crisps. Uh, it has the bell pepper. It has edamame in there. I've only seen a few of the edamame. It needs a little bit more edamame. Um, overall, it was uh, a great amount of protein. Um, like I said, I'm gonna run out of lettuce before I run out of chicken. And good flavoring as far as the General Tso's chicken. If anything, I would probably take away half a half a rating, just because the chicken is it's um, fully in its tender form on top. If it was cut and diced, I probably would enjoy it a little bit more. But when you do that, I think they may see how much chicken you're getting, and they may reduce the amount of chicken you get. I don't know. getting down to the bottom there's lots of times you get to uh, certain solids and you run out of protein well before you run out of lettuce now the general so chicken what would I do as far as rating be a solid four I would get this again. If I, I would not hesitate in getting the, uh, the salad for another meal here anytime soon. So. What do you guys think? So Michelle asked a question on the French Bisha burger. Is it better than the deluxe burger? 
We want the burger is, is, is a better, is a better flavor overall. It's kind of on par with a theme park burger, which is kind of sad. Like I said, the flavors are all there. It's just the burger itself is just dry. Got all the bacon on top, the brie cheese, mushrooms, caramelized onions. But you gotta start off with a good burger first. We're getting closer, Pikachu. Good morning. Welcome in. Joey, good to see you. What a good day so far. We've still got lots of stuff to do. So, no fries. I actually uh, chose as a side. You can choose between a couple things, and I did not choose the fries. I actually chose the coleslaw, and I would definitely get this coleslaw again. So, I wouldn't normally order two entrees, but I thought it was good to kind of have an idea of a couple of things to try with you guys. And because you guys have been extremely generous in taking care of us and making sure we have uh, funds to be able to do just that, I want to make sure I get here, uh, share some, some different reviews. No. No, that wasn't juicy at all. There's no juice in there. How does the Lux Burger and Steakhouse Burger compare? Um, they're very similar as far as quality. I mean, the Lux Burger is a pretty good burger. It's, it's very filling. Um, and they do the burger as well. Now, I like sitting down and enjoying things at Steakhouse 71. But honestly, I don't mind a good burger at uh, the Lux Burger either. Got park hopping. I'd love to. I'd love to meet up and say hello. I hate it when you guys can come in here and visit, and I don't get to say to get a chance to meet you in person. I know it doesn't always work out. But always love to try. So Jackie, the. Um, the French Pichot Burger, I believe, is $12.99, about right. And the um, salad, the chicken salad, I believe, was right at $11. So. But I'd get this salad any day of the week. Same thing with the coleslaw. So, speaking of expensive, Jackie, I thought while we're kind of finishing up here, did you guys hear that there is a property in California that is for sale and the asking price for it is two hundred and twenty five million dollars and if it sells for that asking price if it sells for 225 it will be the new record for a uh, the most expensive residential home 
property in the entire state of California. Now, it won't be more than the nation's uh, record, which I believe is 238 million, which was for a penthouse in New York City. But $225 million, I believe it's five acres, it has like nine different buildings on it. Has anybody heard about this? Now, why in the world would I bring this up? I want to even mention it on a Disney live stream. Can anyone guess who's selling the property? Whose property is it? Anybody have a guess? Any of our Google Masters out there? It's not JPEG, but it's somebody who shares a title or at one point had the same title as JPEG. The person who owns this $225 million property, million dollar property, none other than Michael Eisner. You got it, John. You got it. Michael Eisner. If you guys don't know who Michael Eisner is, he was basically the CEO of Disney during the Renaissance period, late 80s, all through the 90s, earlier into the 2000s. He was the happy face of Disney at that point. Remember Eisner? The guy always looked like he liked it. He was always happy. He was always smiling. Sort of reminds me of Josh. Or Josh kind of reminds me of Eisner. Huh. I know him. I know him. We work together. So I'm curious to be able, if he's able to actually sell it. Be the highest single residential property sale in the state of California. So. Do you guys have any questions about either the French Bistro Burger or the General Tso's ch uh, Chicken Salad before we head out for today? So like, yeah, I remember that guy. Michael Eisner. He was the face of Disney when I was growing up. All right. <clears throat> Let's go figure out how we're going to put our food away here, shall we? We have stations all across the way. 
if I can get everybody over there. Figure out how to put our food in the trash. Alrighty. Heavy, heavy, heavy balls. Carry that one with two hands. All right. Alrighty. Put your dishes, your utensils away, it makes it easier for cleanup. Again, Connections Eatery over here at Epcot. I think there was a little dressing um, on the uh, greenery, but there was more of it that came from flavor than I think on the chicken. But once I got into it, I could tell that the uh, there's a little bit of dressing, there's a little bit of dressing in the salad as well. Now, when we first got started, it was not that busy, but you can see it's gotten busier since. So, mobile order, and here's the secret: mobile order well before lunchtime. When it opened up at 11 o'clock, the earliest mobile order you could get was 11:40. So, if you know you're going to be eating at 11, 11:30, go ahead at 10 o'clock. Go ahead and put your order in. Avoid the wait. Billy Fan 77, welcome in. Good to see you on this Wednesday. How are you guys doing today? So if I put an application in with Disney, you think I get hired on before that actually no I'll catch one. Have you guys all written it? I'm, I'm, we're coming on Monday, so we're gonna get right on Monday. So, um, is uh, I see we got a stage over here. Are they doing some uh, uh, press? Your guess is as good as ours. They haven't I've, really told us. I know, but we had some other cast members walk through there, and even they were like, "What is going on there?" We got news outlets catch like about the stage being up before us. Like literally, we wake up one morning, we're like, "Oh, there's a stage there." Okay, <laughs> let's go. I, I remember, I remember when they were putting up stages here for like the uh, Christmas specials. I walked in just as the park opened, and there was a few guest members going, Ooh, there's a stage here. I'm like, everybody's surprised this morning. So, all right, with good talk to you guys. Have a good afternoon. Yeah, yeah we've got a, it looks like a full stage set up over here. They're either going to do like a concert or some sort of thing to get prepared and ready for the opening. Some tells me they're going to do a musical performance, grand opening ceremony of some type, pre recorded maybe. So far, that's a few of the cast members we've seen who are like, I don't know what the stage is for. <clears throat> Definite stage of some sort coming up. 
lights, speakers, and the such. Good afternoon, Carida. Good to see you. I'm feeling much better. Thank you very much. So carry it out here, go back and check it out. We had the General Sal's chicken salad and the French Bistro burger. One of them got three orange birds out of five. Another got four and the side got five. So I can check it out. quick video can't wait Friday next Monday. <clears throat> it would be nice to have this corner of the park open once more. I mean, we're already seeing walls go down left and right. I mean, there was a matter of time back in the day where this right here was our mouse gear. That was walled up. That was completely walled up. And walls are coming down. They're coming down. Hey, now that we've just eaten, we're going to be uh, checking a few other things. Anybody in the mood for a test track? That's a 60 minute wait for trash track, but hey, all of us can go through the single rider line together. We may get split up and not ride in the same car during the ride. But we can catch back up at the exit. Walt says, yes, let's go ride test track. Let's go for it. Anyone else in the mood? Sarah Speed Bush says, yes, let's go for it. Welcome in, Hawk the Fam. Good to see you. All right, let's go hit single rider. Good morning. And welcome in and thank you to David Lee for hitting that subscribe button today and joining our Magic Crew community. Glad to have you in, David. Welcome. Woo. I'm tired of waiting. I'm tired of waiting. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you. Everybody say hello to David.
<laughs> Top speed of 64.9 miles. Faster than we can do on the Interstate 4. I'm going to remove my hat before the wind removes it for me. 60 minutes standby wait. Kim, thanks for stopping in. A little bit of a, a lunch commute. Quick ride on test track. Welcome in, Bob. Good to see you. I just found my hat wallet. I hate to lose it again. Just found it. Good afternoon, Desert Dream. How you doing today? We're celebrating Star Wars Day by completing this in 4.9 parsecs. <laughs> oh, Sarah, if I lose this hat, I would just sit in the corner and cry for a bit. <laughs> it's true. It's all true. This has been the most laid back boarding ever. Here we go. Hello. The seatbelt check is around the corner. For your safety, remain seated with your seatbelt fastened and your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the vehicle. Make some chewy times. cookies. Please supervise children. La estación de control de cinturones de seguridad está a la vuelta de la esquina. Por su seguridad, mantenga sus manos, brazos, pies y piernas 
dentro del vehículo y cuide a los niños. yellow straps to make sure we're not gonna go flying out around the corners. None of that tower, it's terror stuff. Alright, pull the yellow strap guys. Automated driving technology activated. Welcome to the scene track. We'll begin with the capability test to see how your vehicle designs perform under challenging weather and surface conditions. Monitoring road surface. SimCar performance data acquired. I think we ran over an Ewok. Let's see how your designs hold up now. Commencing SimCar off-road and extreme weather sequence. Capability test results displayed and verified. Now let's see how your vehicles compare when it comes to their efficiency. Scanning the car for optimal eco efficiency. Engaging eco scan for aerodynamic efficiency. Analysis. Hyperspectral imaging in progress. Calculating total enviro impact. Commencing responsiveness test. Okay. The responsiveness data is now being synchronized. Automated driving technology verified and active.
<laughs> Boom! <laughs> we make it our own Star Wars day. This concludes the test. You'll be able to see the Yoda Chevrolet custom concept vehicle designs to share with the city. Back into Star Wars. <laughs> That's true, it is the fastest hunk of junk in Epcot. Welcome in Beverly. Happy Star Wars Day. Pew pew, pew pew. Meow. fast ride. We got on pretty fast too. Please watch your step as you exit. Remember to so take all close. your belongings with you. Not you quite there. Good solid ride. Worth the 60 minute wait, right? It was a walk on, a walk right on to it. That was, how was Drew and the Queen doing today? I think most, most all streamers are probably Hollywood Studios today, but not gonna be there just yet. We may make our way over there afterwards. Welcome in, Anthony. I don't, I'm not 100% sure about that, Philly fan. There was that one bump at the beginning. I'm not 100% sure. Like we hit that first thing, that first turn at the very first. Could have sworn I heard a boom, nub nub. But uh, could have just been me. Doing great today, Anthony. How about yourself? How are you feeling today? Beverly says, that was a fun ride. Let's go again. <laughs> so, you know, I, I will tell you guys when it comes to the idea that this is not a stream about me riding and doing stuff and you guys just watch. We want you to be involved. We want it to be your stream. So let me ask this question. I've had two people said, we got on really fast. They want to go again. You guys want to go one more time? Well, we got on in less than five minutes. I have no problem because, uh, well, we can't park hop for another hour anyway. So you guys want to ride one more time? Let me know. And uh, I'll be glad to go back through a second time if you'd like. Hello, Hassan. Welcome in. <laughs> K 
can't answer that question for you, Calvin. I just, I can't. Michelle says, let's do it. Let's do it a second time. Jackie goes, yes, yes, yes. Okay, thumbs up from Caridad. Beverly goes, yes, please. Well, why not? If you guys want to do it again, it didn't take any time at all to go through. Let's ride it. We'll ride it, baby, one more time. All right. So I got a new handy dandy little thing in the mail. I needed to buy a new uh, tripod base because my old one broke. So I ordered a new one. It did come in the mail. I actually opened it up right before the patron call last night. It's got a cool feature on it, a lock feature. Here's the coolest thing though. I also bought an additional device. The additional device allows me to do a quick release and take it off the bottom of my gimbal. So on rides like this, instead of having to keep up with the entire thing, I can reduce the size of my gimbal by half just by taking the tripod off quickly. So that worked out really, really well. Thank you. Welcome in, Paula. Good to see you. I still have my hat off from the last ride, so I just won't even bother to put it back on. This is our second time in a row going through the single rider line. If you are Disney families coming to visit and you're okay with being separated from your family for the duration of the ride to save yourself some major wait times, Consider doing the single rider on the rides that allow it, such as Millennium Falcon and the one here for Test Track. Don't get lost in the office. Look for places that are commonly found, like the break room, the coffee room, the warehouse. <laughs> fancy, fancy, Nancy. Oh, yeah, man, make us die. And to all those who hit the subscribe button today, welcome into the Magic Crew. Glad you guys could be a part of our group. We're at this point only 17 members of our Magic Crew, 17 members away from hitting 6,700. So we're almost at the next milestone. Like <laughs> flash, 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 hundred yard dash. Hello, Nick. Five, three on six. <laughs> 
Do you want to ride in the back? No, no. Okay. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, thank you guys. I know a lot of you guys sent out links and remind people that we have the streams going on on social media. Thank you guys for making that happen. That gets the word out. Every time our link gets shared out on social media, I think YouTube actually counts it. The more times it gets shared out, the more likely it is that YouTube's going to uh, help us out as well. La estación de control de cinturones de seguridad está a la vuelta de la esquina. Por su seguridad, mantenga su mano. Everybody, make sure to take off your hats and your Mickey ears. You don't want to get blown off by the 64.9 mile per hour winds. Connecting to Tatooine. Let's see how your designs hold up now. Commencing sim car off road and extreme weather sequence. Capability test results displayed and verified. Now let's see how your vehicles compare when it comes to their efficiency. Scanning for optimal eco efficiency. It's trying, it's trying. Engaging eco scan for aerodynamic efficiency.
drive systems analysis, hyperspectral imaging in progress, calculating total enviro impact. We'll do, Gabriel. Commencing responsiveness test. Okay, responsiveness data is now being synchronized. Automated driving technology verified and active. Lurk. 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 Automated crash avoidance technology disengaged. Displaying responsiveness data. Here comes the final test. Energizing for power test. Designs compared with the SIM card after you disembark. Please watch your steps. Terrell, to exit. Welcome in, happy Wednesday. Be sure to check your final performance numbers now. Gotta put flash back on. Ah! That was a flash Gordon reference there, Sarah. We can explain that to you later. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. Might be a little laggy through here. We'll get you through quick. bit of power on the back side there Dylan welcome in glad you could join us for test track today oh you you, you missed it uh, Michelle we rode test track like seven times Oh my gosh. <laughs> Being stuck certain sideways for like half an hour. Get my get my water out and try to drink it sideways the entire time. So I'm curious to see which flavor the other day. We had a request from O Orlando to get and try the churro flavored popcorn. 
And I've, <laughs> it's the one flavor I haven't been able to find since then. Confetti. Mickey's fruit. Mickey's and cream. Caramel. Kettle, but no churro. We'll find it. And when I find it, I'm going to get it. So, Anthony, I got to ask a question. We got stuck on it for 30 minutes. Did they just restart Did you get a full on evacuation? All righty. Let's head on into the Epcot World Showcase. Do a quick little fun walk around and who knows might pop out at the back end and head over to hollywood studios to see if we can catch one maybe one star wars treat before we close out today you guys are just popping in welcome into a wednesday stream here at ear to ear magic we are over here at Epcot this afternoon, making our own Star Wars day fun. And of course, May the 4th be with you. Gotta love the views. So now that we've gone into May, we're down to two months remaining. Matter of fact, I think exactly from today. Two months remaining in the Flower and Garden Festival for this year. Before we go into the Epcot International Festival of No Festivals for about 10 days and then start the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival mid-July. Gotta love the flowers. Gotta take advantage of the moments of serenity where you can. Over on, well, we just got a PayPal, we just got a PayPal, we just got a PayPal, about 10 minutes ago. Our buddy Dean sent over a $10 PayPal with just the words thank you, which I'm thinking is what I'm saying for thinking of us and helping us take care of all of our streaming. So Dean, thank you so much for that. Greatly appreciate you guys, and I hope that our streams are a refuge and a fun and safe place for everybody to come and enjoy the day. So thank you so much, Dean.
And then as we turn left into Mexico, We just got a PayPal, we just got a PayPal, we just got a PayPal. Yes, from Anthony. Anthony, so much. Thank you so much for the PayPal. For taking care of us, despite the fact that you've probably been traumatized from a, being stuck on an inverted ride out in the sun. You get it, what we call the Disney bake. <laughs> Thank you so much, Anthony. Appreciate it. When you guys give, it makes it so much easier to turn our cameras on and continue to do what we do and have fun here in the live streams. And we appreciate you guys and everything you do to support us here on Ear to Ear Match and taking care of the community as well. I just take a quick peek at Donald over here. So cool. We just wanted to say that he is out and about and going once again. Happy Wednesday, Terrell. Good to see you. <laughs> Daily reminders. Hydrate. Buy a hat. <laughs> if I buy a drinking hat, does that like cover all bases? You know, I'm surprised they don't sell drinking hats in Epcot. You know, they'd make a killing off of them. People drinking around the World Showcase, you know, they wouldn't even have to put them in a cup. They could just fix their drinks and then pour them in their hat. So it's a current 20 minute wait right now to see Anna and Elsa at the Royal Summer House, uh, which is a pretty good wait time. It was uh, about, what, I mean, 45 minutes is what we saw over in the Magic Kingdom the other day to meet the princesses and their meet and greet. And it was 65 minutes to meet Mickey over the Magic Square Theater, Ma Ma the Town Square Magic Theater. So 20 minutes is actually fairly good especially in the beginning <laughs> when they first came to Epcot and uh, there were dads running at rope drop and barreling through crowds to get in line to try to shorten the five hour wait times to meet Anna and Elsa you guys remember that did any of you actually wait in any of those Five hour wait times. Fig I hope they just I hope they turned it off. It's like being on uh it's a small world. After a while it just starts to drill into your skull. Bright sun's done. Happy Star Wars Day. I can smell the jasmine. The floral bouquets planted around. It smells like springtime. And thank you and welcome in to all of our new members of our Magic Crew who subscribe to the channel here today. We at this point are only 15, 
15 new members away to hit 8,700. So if you've hit that subscribe button today, again, welcome. Thank you. But more importantly, we're just glad that you're here, that you found our stream. We hope that you enjoy hanging out with the crew. We'll be in the parks Monday through Friday, making the most of all we can to share the parks with you. Ride to rides, see what's going on, answer questions, talk about the latest news. Maybe even grab a treat on the way. So if you are watching for the very first time, do us a favor, jump into the chat, introduce yourself. Hey, I just subscribed. If you feel comfortable, let us know what area of the world you're watching from. It's always awesome to see when we have people watching from the Netherlands, Iceland, Germany, Chile, Argentina. even uh, Kentucky. <laughs> and boy, is it hot today. How hot is it? Was that not a joke? That was just a statement? Oh, oh yeah, well, yeah, okay. <laughs> it is actually, uh, it is a warm day today. Not as warm as it could be, but it is warm. Not as warm as it is on Alderaan, but we're at a high of 87 today. There is a high chance of afternoon thunderstorms, but I think we're gonna be long done with our stream before any of those come into play. 94 and 93 for the following two days. A little bit of clouds, but mostly sun. We are going to get some spring showers coming into this weekend and highs uh, again into 80, what, 88 and 92. Finishing out the weekend. So. Look at snow. She's got a good line, too. Gotta love snow. It's just the most innocent and sweet of all of the princesses. The original Disney princess, mind you. Just think, if Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs had not done well in the theaters, uh, none of this would be here. None of it. Walt, Walt Disney and his entire company sunk everything into the success of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. And if people did not like the idea of a full-length feature animated film, then uh, this would probably all still be swamp area. Who knows? <laughs> Another view of snow over here. Happy. 
He says he only sees six dwarves. Alright, so here's a loaded question. <laughs> this was it for the entire chat. You gotta ask this one. This this should be fun. So welcome in RMJ23. Good to see ya. Anthony, again, for the PayPal, appreciate it. I didn't get to see your message, though. Really appreciate all you do and the manner in which you do it. You're a good guy. Thank you so much, Anthony. I greatly appreciate that. It means it means uh, a lot to us to try to keep uh, a good reputation between everyone involved. So thank you so much for that, Anthony. I appreciate it. So i got to ask the question. Uh, I need everyone in the chat to think about if we were to make our own live action Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. And we had an open casting call for everybody in the Magic Crew. And I emailed out a document saying, we've got our cast, we've got our cast list, this is our cast. And you opened it up, and on the cast list was your name. And beside your name, the name of one of the seven dwarfs. We've cast you as one of the dwarfs in our live action Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs movie for Ear to Ear Magic. Which dwarf would you expect to be cast as, and why? I open question to everybody in the chat. Which dwarf would you be cast as and why would you be cast as that dwarf? Let us know. Curious to see who you see yourself mo most like out of the seven of them. Go through and read all the answers. Of Everybody play along. Which seven drawers would you be cast as? Maribel, good afternoon. Jen says, I'd be sleepy. <laughs> Never getting up early for a rope drop. Uh, it's ear to ear magic. Ear to ear magic? Ear to ear. Nice. All right. Thank you. Cool. I can I, I I think that was that's a good one. That's a good one. It was perfect for Jen. Kim H sleepy hands down. <laughs> because I have a seven month old. <laughs> I I know that feeling. Jilly P dopey for sure. What? Cute and fun loving and everybody loves them. This is adorable. Buongiorno Topolino. Grumpy.
$17.99 for the cute little. I'm usually sleepy, but when I'm awake, happy. <laughs> sleepy, happy. Slappy. There we go. Happy. Disney for a girl. The happy one in the bunch. Lauren B. Sneezy. Oh, wow. They've got some really nice outfits and really nice uh, apparel in here. All specific for this pavilion. Firefly Sleepy. Up Collector Grumpy. That's <laughs> how so wife says so. Not when you're surrounded by trains, though, right? We got some trains, and you're all good. Hello, John. Welcome in. Calvin would be dopey. Are we speaking for Calvin now? Manny can be cast as snow. <laughs> poor, poor, poor hubby. Look at the, this is really cool for like the kids. It's a polo. You don't get to see a lot of polos in, in, in apparel for kids, especially. Topolino, Little Mouse, Mickey Mouse. Walt Happy. Amy H. Grumpy? Really? No. Welcome in, Tiki Man fan. How are you? All the smells. Hello. Be the doc, the the, the adult figure. I need to get myself some uh, new cologne, maybe some Bulgari. <laughs> I'm afraid to answer the question for myself. Who would I be? Honey bear. Oh, honey bear, you would be happy in a heartbeat. And see, I would not see Dopey as being a negative at all. He's such like the most beloved of all the dwarves. I'll collect her. I always have a grumpy and an angry Donald shirt on my Disney trips. They should do more. They should do more angry Donalds, right? Princess Leia, because I'm always happy. I love the fact that we've got so many happies in our group. The coach here next to us. So I, I say it. My parents, I, I'm lucky. My parents can Mike is grumpy. The grumpy Mike. So not only do you have some great apparel here in the pavilion here in Italy, but there's lots of stuff. Look at all the Topolino stuff. Love the shirt. Got the stuff here for the little guy here. Stop in and ask about some of the perfumes. I mean, the, the aroma in here is amazing. So, a lot of stuff going on here. Don't miss out on an opportunity to come in and see some stuff that's specific for the Italy Pavilion. Oh, wow. Check this out. Oh, I gotta do this very carefully. Look. La vita è bella. Topolina. That's a really nice design. And, wow, that's a really good price too. Twelve ninety nine. I was expecting it to be more. Great for display. I we'd probably use that in our kitchen. Luggage tag. Anybody who's a fan of Italy and of the pavilion here. 
passport cover. Check that out. Let me get it into the sun so you can see it a little bit better. Do it this way. It's got the embossed design, Topolino, with his car. Tutto bene. Cool passport cover. Oh, bellissima. <laughs> These four girls says I would be happy. I'd be like a happy dopey, I think, sometimes. <laughs> That's what we try to do. We try to get you guys to smile from ear to ear. Cool designs here. Of course, these are all made in Italy, so these are actual Italian bags. Even the one that comes in ear to ear magic blue. Oh, <laughs> uh, bashful in the beginning, but they even say Epcot on the testers. You guys can come in and smell some of the scents that they have here. What a great souvenir. You can say that you purchased it not only in Epcot and you bought it at Disney, but it's something you can use every single day afterwards. And I am almost out of clone. I don't have to have like a, a set for like men. I love the little smaller sets of colognes so that, you know, you can have several as opposed to like one. So come in and come in and shop around. Let them smell some of the different colognes and perfumes. Like I said, what a great souvenir to take home with you. Even a Vespa. Oh, that's, oh, the perfumes smell really good. Let's go check out Lady. Hmm. Wow, Miss Lady. You have yourself a call. Is there anybody who doesn't love pasta? No. Limoncello, look at the nice Italian ears, our mini ears. I saw these, uh, I saw these, was it, where did I see this? Was it yesterday? Surprising me, I saw it um, at Hollywood Studios, I thought, I thought this is a weird place to see it. Salute. No, it wasn't Hollywood Studios. It was this morning. 
over in the uh, shop near the front by Spaceship Earth. A nice numbing. And that's a big honking mug right there. Limoncello salute. Jill, welcome in, Jill. Good to see you. <laughs> I'm actually a combination of all the dwarfs. Just depends on when you walk up. <laughs> What's happening that day? It's a very open, nice aired shop. Cucina Italia. Some more mini ears. Pizza! I remember when these first came out, they sold out very fast that first day or two. <laughs> it's clumsy a dwarf. <laughs> Is awkward a dwarf? So socially awkward, because that would be that would be me. <laughs> Sleepy, sneezy, happy, dopey, socially awkward. There you go, honey bear. What a cute shirt. Welcome in, Z Free. Good to see you. Happy Star Wars Day. That's how you're supposed to have it. It's supposed to be chewy. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> and that is one of the items they normally sell all year round. So hopefully it won't sell out today. Oh, the fans are really nice too. It's shaded. They have fans. They have salt and pepper shakers, which is, you know, is one of my uh, Achilles heels. I have some great stuff in here, Mandy. Okay, man, Mike. Mike Wazowski. <laughs> That's a funny question. What would they do if they introduced it? Oh, man. There'd be people. There would be the classic people who are like, no, you can't do it. It's seven. It's always going to be seven. But I think that the seventh, the uh, eighth dwarf should be socially awkward. He likes to be around people. He enjoys socializing. But he just has a few missteps and he doesn't mean it. So I did not see that is uh, the House of Gucci. It was a movie, right? I don't do I don't do well on the dramas. You know, maybe that's why 
I don't do well on drama when it comes to our chat, so I try to keep drama free. <laughs> I don't really care for the drama. I have too much drama in my life as it is. I try to stay away from incorporating more. Advertising upcoming garden rocks, including a flock of seagulls, finesse, Mercy Me, Colin Ray, and a few others all set up. Every night, a different artist up on the stage here at the America Gardens Theater. I do like how Disney has incorporated and brought in exclusive merchandise for each of the pavilions because, you know, we all have fans. We all like certain places more. You know, the, the bucket list, the travel or have traveled there. And so it's kind of cool to say, you know, I'm a big, big fan of Mexico or France or Italy and be able to grab some merchandises just from that pavilion. Tonight's show times 5.30, 6.45, 8 o'clock. Today and tomorrow, the last two days, Latin Ambition here at the America Gardens Theater. Gonna grab some shade. <laughs> oh, nice shade for a bit. Ah, uh, I knew there had to be a reason, Sarah. I knew there had to be a reason. It stars Kylo Ren. <laughs> There's, there's your connection right there. So I'm gonna grab a space over here to the side. If I can find a little shade and hydrate for a moment. Ah, I see it. I know my destination. This way. All right. I'm gonna put you guys on this tree. Is <laughs> Black Sabbath playing Epcot? <laughs> now they're over in the uh, Disney Junior section and a special concert starring Bamp Arena. So Don says it's 105 minutes for Rise of the Resistance. That is pretty shocking. I, I when I got on yesterday, it was listed as a standby of 80. So. 105, not bad at all for Star Wars Day. Hydrated. Check. So there is some shade by the core pond, but this is one of those infamous uh, non-available tables. So, sugar cream one. I missed. I missed that. Hang on. Here. 
there we go. Welcome to Sugar Cream. Glad to meet you. By the way, my name's Chris. I'm your agent in the parks. I'm your camera operator. I'm here just to make sure that everybody has something cool to look at. The rest of everybody here in the crew is the Magic Crew. They hang out with me in the parks every Monday through Friday. Whenever you get a chance, come on in. Have some fun, ride some rides, try some treats. Get away from the life, the drama, and the stress of everyday life and have some fun in the streams. Glad you could join us. And uh, tell you what, um, you guys, we're getting more and more people joining us. And I think at this point, yeah, we're only, we're only 12. That's this minis. Oh, wait, I'm 6,700. So, welcome in. Oh, I, I, I now have a washer and dryer again, but I, I need to wash clothes, and I'm down to only having one ear to ear magic shirt that I can wear. So I need, I'm going to be getting some new ones here soon. I figured I'm in Epcot. I'm wearing my flower and garden shirt today. So. Yes, I found my hat. My hat. That was my eye. I just poked out. But my hat, my eye, my doctor bill. Uh, good. I'll buy a hat. <laughs> I, actually, I was thinking I could, I could, you know, I wouldn't mind getting the uh, orange bird hat. I like the orange bird hat they have here. It's pretty cool. You go with the shirt. But my orange bird. But then I'd be, then I could only wear it when I'm in Epcot. Or, you know, you guys will make fun of me right so so Andrew welcome in watching all the way from Scotland which is a little a really far away away because I'm all the way in Japan right now so good to see you into this afternoon Ooh. all right I hydrated We'll keep the fun going if you guys are having a good time today thank you so much for hitting the thumbs up i'm not sure where we at where we're at right now on thumbs up but i'd love it if you guys can keep that going the more thumbs up we can get the more youtube's going to invite some more people in we got people like sugar cream coming in today and hanging out with us for the first time only because youtube and you guys share us out and you guys make that possible so thank you guys for hitting the thumbs up and uh we'll continue on around let's we'll see if we can make it to the back side of the international gateway Make our way on over to Hollywood Studios to see what's going on over there today, shall we? Get ourselves a uh, storage treat. Hang on, I want to kind of catch up on chat a little bit when I get too deep into the dark darkness of the screen because of the brightness of the sun, I kind of lose where we are in chat. So I want to make sure I catch back up with you guys. Um, Honey Bear says, fun fact, my sister went to high school with Adam Driver and he went to my and my sister's high school. <laughs> well, there goes Sarah. Um, <laughs> Woo. Uh, Tasha, a good question. I want to catch up with what Tasha has to say. Um, question. Tasha asks if uh, I'm coming in a couple of weeks with my family and I'm on the fence 
about Genie Plus. I hear it's worth it at times, and then sometimes I hear it's not. I don't know what to do. Thank you. So, Tasha, let me answer the question as I've done uh, several times with uh, people in the chat here. And we've actually experienced this, and people in the stream uh, can attest to the fact that they were with us when we've noted this as well. Uh, I, I do agree with the statement, and I've said this myself. Even though I am a travel agent, and you would think as a travel agent, I would say you always have to buy Genie Plus because, you know, you have to, you have to, you have to. As a travel agent, um, I want to make sure my clients can make the most of their money, get the best deals possible. And honestly, I don't believe that Genie Plus on all days for every park is a good investment depending on how and what your family will be doing. There are some parks that are better for Genie Plus than others. Magic Kingdom is a good use of your Genie Plus. Epcot can be, but keep in mind, um, when you've got things like Ratatouille, which are an individual lightning lane, um, you don't need to buy Genie Plus in order to just get the one attraction. And then lots of times, many of the other attractions have lower wait times, uh, depending on what time you're coming, in which Genie Plus may not be necessarily the best use of your time or effort. Um, it's frustrating to spend $15 per person to get Genie Plus, only to come over to Epcot and get a fast or a lightning lane for Figment or living with the land, uh, just to find out that you know you're you're using it on an attraction that only has a 10 or 15 minute standby. I don't feel as that personally that that is a huge uh, advancement for the money uh, as far as the savings of time. So uh, it really does differ. Here's the one thing I would uh, let you know. Um, you can buy it per park per day. Uh, if you buy it for all of your tickets, you have to use it for all of your parks and it's, you can't break it up. So oftentimes what I tell my travel clients is pick your park days in which it's more of importance to you, whether or not it's a more of a value for that particular park. Other days, save that money, uh, use, uh, use your time as you would feel necessary and then take that money that you would have spent on Jenny Plus to pay for lunch uh, or a, another set of treats or something like that. So um, if you uh, have any other questions, let me know. I'd be glad to answer. And the rest of the group will be glad to give you their experiences as well. Um, others can tell you that they have uh, bought Genie Plus before and gotten into a park, got one lightning lane, and then they were all gone for the rest of the day. So, um, And the thing about Genie Plus, it is not refundable. So I promise you, every single day there will be clients, um, I say clients, guests coming up to guest services saying, uh, it didn't work for me, I want my money back, and the guest services will tell them they can't refund their money. So, make our way through Morocco going over to France. We need uh, next time we come over to Epcot we'll have to come over and ride Ratatouille. We'll have to pick a time to do that. We haven't ridden that in a while. might be coming over here soon. So Sarah, Tasha, Sarah's telling you about their experience here recently as well. But Sarah said that uh, every single Genie Plus time reservation spot in individual lightning lane was sold out by 7.03 a.m. He opened up at seven, bought it, and couldn't even utilize it. There are times where, you know, you may be able to get a lightning lane earlier in the day, but for the rest of the day, they may be already taken for and accounted. So, depends on the business of the time frame, when you're coming, and what's happening. It's not a 
black or white scenario, but Tasha says, okay, great. Thanks. We're going to Magic Kingdom for with our two girls. Magic Kingdom is a good, better use of Genie Plus than I think any of the other parks. Totally agree with that. Welcome in, Samantha. How are you doing today? So, uh... We were still not up with our Wi-Fi, uh, so we didn't get a chance to see the match game this Monday night. Were you, weren't you on, Samantha, with Anthony? Hope you had a great time. It's a fun game. It's fun to do. Right, let's make a way on over to the International Gateway. I'm going to test it out. We'll see what happens. A lot of people were asking, well, on busy park days, if there are no park reservations available, will they allow you to park off over the Disney Hollywood Studios? <sighs> let's go find out, shall we? So Tasha, the uh, the great thing about the DAS or the uh, disability access system, you can either wait to apply and get it added the day you are arriving just by going to guest services, or if you're familiar with, would like to try it out, over on my Disney experience, you can actually look it up and do a live chat with a cast member who will ask you what your need for the system is and whether or not it's a good fit, and they can activate it for you on the service for my Disney experience, so. It's a fuzzy hat. It's like a fuzzy, like a nectarine. Think orange. Mm. So for Genie Plus, so I was saying it was really good for Magic Kingdom. Mike, did we hit 200 likes? Did we? I'm not very good at math. Let me. Two, 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 two. Carry the one. Two, four, two, two. Huh. Sweet. So if we hit 200 likes, I'm assuming that's what you mean there. Thank you guys for hitting that. If not, keep hitting that like button, guys. Help us out. Interesting. So I'm assuming this was like an, an alternate prize i'm assuming that it was stuck on a boat somewhere because i think we got one of the four cups oh, yes and they're probably yep. all gone now right they are yes 
So yep. we just have these prizes now for the flower and garden scavenger hunt going on. Now, have you actually tried to fit a sandwich in these? Because people keep asking me whether or not you can put a sandwich in it. I haven't personally. They look a little yes. like on the teeny side for a sandwich. They do. And the way I put my sandwiches together, a lot of extra <laughs> meat and cheese that might not come back out. I, I know. If you get a sandwich horn, you can pop it back out with. But right? <laughs> it's, it's kind of on the close side. It's it very is, close. Yes. Maybe if you, if you cut it a certain way. <laughs> or like my daughter, if you cut the crust off. Right, yeah. Yep. So, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Absolutely. All right. Let's head on over to the Skyliner. By the way, they started selling a new popcorn bucket yesterday. A yellow Skyliner gondola with the 50th anniversary logo on the side. Oh, don't look, but there's Darth Vader. Um, yeah, the popcorn bucket was being sold yesterday. We picked one up in Hollywood Studios. Gave it away last night, a surprise on the Patreon call. So congratulations to Jen. I think Jen doesn't want them for lack of space and therefore she ends up getting more of them. I'm gonna... All right, we're gonna make our way on up. Let's jump on the Skyliner. That's a lot. It's what we have to do in life all the time, isn't it, up collector? Just have to cut off the crust. Jimmy says, don't take the Skyliner. Oh, you think it's going to be quicker to walk? It's actually pretty short. Yep, we're going to head on over to Hollywood Studios and see if we can catch a Star Wars treat if there are any left over to share with you guys on the stream before we close out today. What do you think we can get? Do you think we can grab ourselves one of the mooses, nieces, mouses? One of our space Star Wars funnel cakes. Should we get ourselves some milk, which I don't think we've ever got a green or a blue milk on a stream. Maybe today's the day we do it. Okay. 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 Okay.
stream every Monday through Friday. So we just go to each of the parks and uh, every day go to a different park and do something different and share with everybody who watches our channel. So today, um, you know, Star Wars Day, so we're going to oh, yeah. park over and see if we can grab one of the two of the treats if they have them still left. Yeah. If not, we'll just take in the ambulance at all. You know? Yeah, we couldn't get reservations, so we're, we're keeping our fingers crossed that we can get in. Yeah, exactly. They were gone so long ago. We, that, I Disney think reservations were gone like the second this week of April. This charming lakeside mm. resort offers magical lounges, well, enchanting restaurants, and live entertainment on the boardwalk every <laughs> evening. And the problem is, I only get five reservations at a time, and we stream Monday, Thursday, Friday. So I can't go too far out. So I just kind of have to go with the flow. <laughs> How about you guys? Where are you guys from? We're local. Well, the great state of Sanford, right. Florida. <laughs> Sanford, all right. But we were here all last week. Sanford. But then we had to come back because it's... Oh, like yeah, of course. <laughs> and no judgment for me, the guy who comes every week to oh, yeah. Yeah, or something. Yeah. Even if not anything, just kind of hang around for a bit. So, so you yes. must live pretty close. Uh, we, uh, we, we, we were in Winter Garden. And, and right behind the Magic Kingdom, yeah. and we just now moved down to Champions Gate. Oh, okay. But not too far. Okay. Yeah. A couple of exits down four, which we've learned a couple of exits down four is um, can somewhat be well, a time constraint. So, but, yeah, we're close enough to be able to get here when we need to, so Good. it's nice. Good. Good. The, 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 the main thing is, is that my wife and I are travel agents. We moved here almost four years ago uh, so that we could continue to do travel, but we would be right here. So we really get to know what we're doing. As you know, if people ask us questions, we can say, well, we were there yesterday. Uh -huh. Yesterday, it was this way. Yeah. Uh, then 2020 was not a great year to travel. Um, right. But so we actually started live streaming on our YouTube channel because um, we saw a lot of other people in media really misconstruing what was going on and it really didn't it didn't sit well with us either they were being way too positive or way too negative and so you know you can you can take any information any video you make and you can make it look good oh, you make yes. it look bad right uh I mean, we had two people go to the same park the same day and one person's like oh my gosh it's so crowded everybody walked out sick don't ever go and the next person's like there was not anybody there at all oh my gosh and i walked on to every single ride i'm like well i which it's kind of in the middle yeah. there, you know, so we decided to go with the philosophy of turning the camera on and letting everybody see what it really is and make their own decisions. So and we just continue to do that because we've got a great community on we here now we can hang out with and get the and So when these people who are in the chat with us right now decide to come to Disney, they call us up, we book their travel, they get here, they enjoy oh it, gosh. and then we can, you know, they're like, well, we saw Chris and Susan do this. and. We saw this and oh, they just they just tried this new so and so at the, this new restaurant. We're gonna go try that. Oh so gosh. it's just a good way of kind of putting information out there. And they're so wonderful. It makes it a lot easier than us having to put our own little spin on it. You yeah. know. Mm -hmm. So, so if, where where does this air? Uh, it's actually on our YouTube channel, Ear to Ear Magic. Uh, ear to ear or, or ear to ear. Ear to ear, like when you smile, you get an ear oh, you yeah. smile from ear to ear. So we put things up on uh, Instagram, uh, TikTok, and Facebook. 
and then we'd live stream, you know, for about two to three hours uh, every day. And then I quit this, go home, and uh, work on the rest of the work. So not a bad, not a bad life considering yeah. you know what we used to do, what I mm. used to do. So I uh, used to work in telecommunications, so I used to spend twelve hours a day, you know, in meetings and oh. all the other stuff, and it was uh, a lot more stressful. Uh, I used to have hair. Yeah. Wow, a lot of hair. So well, I can say that. My hair started to leave when the corporate job started. Pretty much. I thought you were about eighteen or nineteen. Oh, okay, you're right now. Yeah. <laughs> So we were asking the boat guy, um, since the boat had just left, to go to the studio. When's the next boat? How do we get to the studio? We get to well, the next boat will be back in about 15 minutes. Just a few moments. We will be right. arriving at Disney's so Riviera the, Resort, um, a Skyway, Disney vacation club, as one yeah, of the most minutes. picturesque vacation destinations in the world. Yeah, we normally, we normally, I will walk. Just as much as anything, but yeah, I thought you know a little breeze wouldn't hurt. Sure. Yeah. Uh, so you know, and get a little you know, good views for everybody else. So you know, they get to ride the skyline every so often. Uh, but no, normally I will. I will walk uh, because for me it's also important to let people know that you don't have to take the boat. You don't right. have to take the skyliner. You can walk if you like. But it's time, actually really short. The first time we walked, we asked how long it took, and we were told it was an eight-minute walk. We walked fast, and it took us 20 minutes. And so you, may, you may have asked somebody who was a run Disney runner. <laughs> well, yeah, I think after that, we both did something. And, and even then, that was more than that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because that's like a crowded bottleneck. It's hard, it to, it's hard to move. So you're on right now. Oh yeah, we're live right now. So this is the this is the vision, and we've got uh, so we had about 135 people that are watching at the moment. Oh, you're fine. Here's the thing about my streams: is my job is to not to be interfering in anybody else's day. So I try to if I get on rides, I keep my mouth shut. And if we're watching for a dark ride, I turn off the second camera, and I'll turn down the light on this so it doesn't break. You know. I, you know, our job is to let people know how much fun they can have here and not take away from people who are actually here. So, so guys, we're right now at the Riviera stop. You can get off here if you want to stop at the Riviera Resort. Even if you're not staying here, you can stop in and grab a bite to eat over at the Primo Piata. A uh, great place for a quick service uh, bite to eat. Uh, one of my favorite things to have there is the uh, tuna niswa salad. So you can go check that out, and uh, then you can even walk over to Caribbean Beach if you want to. It's not too far a walk at all. Being the fact that the Riviera is actually on property and used to be one of the other buildings for Caribbean Beach before they took it down to build a new resort. So do you guys have something in particular you're looking to try to grab when you get on Dollar Studios? We don't even know what they have. Okay. Well, yeah, we want to try to get into their exclusive merchandise right. thing, whatever they have. Yeah. So if something is sold out and we don't know about it, then yeah. that's okay. <laughs> No, 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 no tears, no tears if you didn't know you missed it, right? No. So for us, it's always, it's always kind of cool to check out some of the treats and the snacks and things. And uh, they have a really cool Darth, Darth Maul, like a moose, one of the little dome mooses, but they have a, it's with dark and red swirls in it, so it kind of looks like the makeup of Darth Maul. And they took almond slivers, they popped them in half, and then made the horns. Yeah on top of a shortbread cookie that looks pretty cool. 
So where's that at? Uh, I believe uh, it's, it might be over at the Backlot Express. Okay. So. Yeah, I notice sometimes they usually have like the special drink or a special tea. There's a couple of yeah, special drinks. Yeah. There's a couple of alcoholic drinks that are available. One of them's at the Oasis Canteen. Um, and then they also have, of course, the Wookiee Cookie, which is there all year round, but still. We miss Star Wars weekends. We are about yes, to I do. So One of my all-time favorite Disney photos is me and my kids meeting with the Ewoks um, and getting a picture with the Ewoks. But it wasn't the; it was Chip and Dale just as Ewoks. Oh my gosh. I bet that was hilarious. So it's like you know, they were so I bet adorable. They were so cute. We saw them in front of the Brown Derby. Oh yeah, they were having a picnic. Yes. <laughs> so cute. We are now sailing over Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort, where every day feels like a junk of new celebration. Now, oftentimes people freak out when the gondolas stop on the line. If you're on the line between Caribbean Beach Hub and the Epcot International Gateway, please keep in mind that anytime they have to put anyone in who has a, a wheelchair or special access getting on at the Riviera, there's not a way for them to put them on without stopping the line. So more than likely, every time it stops on this line, it just means that someone in a wheelchair or who needs special time to access the a gondola, they're just stopping for them to get on. There's nothing wrong and it should start right back up in a second. Now, they don't do that over on the Hollywood Studios line or the Art of Animation line because those lines have special access points which allow them to put people on and off gondolas without having to stop the entire line. Caribbean Beach is one of our favorites. It's so convenient. Yes, it's, it's just so a few beautiful. Moments, we will be landing at Disney's Caribbean and Beach Resort. We were really disappointed when they started building the Riviera because we thought it was going to interfere terribly. But it's, it's a really it's, good location. It's, it's, completely separated from it. But it's still close enough that if you wanted to, you could walk over there yes. and grab a bite mm -hmm. to eat or just enjoy some of the uh, experiences. Yeah, we actually stayed in the building, one of the two buildings, mm -hmm. two Welcome months the before they destroyed it. Disney Our Fair last trip there before we moved here, we were in, in that building. So they really did take them down. And oh, there used to be two buildings over there that were Caribbean oh. Beach. Oh. So they had to take two buildings down to put up the Riviera. Please remain seated until the doors automatically open. When exiting the cabin, please supervise children. We got a treat. We got into a pirate Thank you for flying with us. That was so neat. That's nice that there's only two of you. I got three kids and this doesn't work well for us. Do we have to get off here? Uh, yes. Transfer? Okay. Easy transfer. Yes. Record? All right, guys, we're going to transfer off of the upcut line and make our way over to the Hollywood Studios line. Shouldn't take too much longer. Give me a little bit of a chance to catch my breath. The lines aren't long. Anybody just joining into the chat today? Happy Star Wars Day. Glad you could join us here. May the fourth be with you. We're going to be jumping on the Hollywood Studios line and heading on over. The 
Welcome back in, Bruins. Glad to have you guys join us today. gondola to ourselves so I can be loud and obnoxious again. Try not to be too loud in the gondolas when other guests are riding, especially when it was such a nice couple as they were, locals from Sanford. Nice to bet you guys. They're headed over to Hollywood Studios as well for a little bit of a Star Wars day. Let's see if we can get in. Shouldn't be any problem with jumping in and park hopping. Welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. We're flying to Disney's Hollywood Studios. Hello, Dee. Good to see you today. Happy Wednesday. Including snakes, rats, other wildlife, deer, a lot of deer, especially over the Fort Wilderness. Turkeys, you're going to see lots of turkeys over by the Grand, Grand Floridian and the, uh, the golf courses over there. When you're driving around there, be careful. They'll sometimes just decide to cross over and you don't want to hit a turkey. One of our Disney turkeys, at least. Oh, yep. Yeah. Don't forget the gators. Naturally found here all in Florida. Remember, they're cool to look at. Do not feed them. Do not approach them. The worst thing you can do to a gator is have him stop being afraid of humans. Because when they stop being afraid of humans, they have to be dealt with. Just a few minutes. We will be arriving at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Whether you plan to visit a galactic outpost or play with all of Andy's toys, at Disney's Hollywood Studios, everyone can become the stars of their favorite cinematic stories. go heading on down to the studios now as we go in of course we're gonna have to go back through security we'll be turning the camera off no videoing video or sharing any during security measures so we'll be turning off the camera while we go through you guys can continue to chat we'll be back with you guys after security has gone through Ooh. Ooh. Welcome in, Disney Lisa. All right, thank you. So we could have taken the boat, but the lines for the boats are just as long. 
Normally I would walk. Today seemed like a good day to maybe try to Skyliner. And it really wasn't that bad, honestly. What do you guys think? All right, guys, now we've gotten close to security. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the camera for now. I will see you guys on the other side. Check out our weather for this week. We'll be back with you guys in just a moment. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for giving me the opportunity to go through security. Each security station may have different sensitivities as far as what they see, what they check. If I get waved in through one park by the next park, they need to do a check. I find out that many of the times if I have a bottle of water in my bag, for some reason I get stopped more often. I don't know why that is.
Good chance for me to hydrate. Oh, Don, that's horrible. Hope everybody was okay. Susan almost hit a uh, family of of uh, sandhill cranes. They jumped out in the middle of the road. No idea they were even there. They were okay. She swerved. Come on down. Hello, Robin. How are you? How do you call a droid to give bad direction? What's that? An R2D tour. Hi. <laughs> That's awesome. What do you call a droid that gives bad directions? R2 detour. I've never heard that one before. Sweet. All right, so here it is Hollywood Studios on Star Wars Day. like adding to the chaos invoking the madness it's probably one of the few days where they allow people to actually dress up and cosplay most times they don't allow that too often especially when it comes to Star Wars and Galaxy's Edge So, how many uh, people do you think, what percentage of people will be dressed up when we make it to Batu? You know what? Let's go check and see if they have anything over at the Starbucks. While we're here. You go ahead. You're with them, right? No, actually we're not. I'm just checking to see what treats they have, so. A little exploration. Oh, thank you. It's perfect for Star Wars Day, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Orange Bird, he was the unknown Jedi. I'll go with that. I wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't mess with him. He's, he's a small guy, but he'll probably take you out. Judge me by my size. Give you a big squeeze. Mm. Uh, YouTube live stream. Okay. So we stream in the parks every Monday through Friday. So we started off in Epcot and said it's Star Wars Day. We got to come over today. So we just did that too. Who are you with? Uh, uh, Ear to Ear Magic is the name of our channel and oh, our Instagram and Facebook and everything else. Whole idea is you know, when you smile really big, you smile from ear to ear. So we hope that when people see our stuff, that we're we kind of try to do that. So you guys here for anything in particular? Um, just exploring and cheating some of the cool Oh, I'm, gotta hydrate. Gotta hydrate. I'm finally out of school, so just picked up from college so we can even play for the day. Yeah. Awesome. And I see they have the Darth Maul, Maul dessert here, so hey, a good place to go. Go check it out. You guys want to see what we've got here? Our Darth Maul dessert. I <laughs> just saw a TikTok at 6.45 this morning. I can only imagine. I'm sure it was rough. Welcome in. May the 4th be with you as well. Sherry Awesome Sunsets. <laughs> I like that. Orange bird is a porg in disguise. That's great. Waiting for somebody to say something about it tastes like chicken. Yeah. 
So I can't speak for uh, for certain uh, when it comes to any events, Amy, but I would be willing to bet that there's at least a few groups who uh, cosplay who will be bringing lightsabers tonight for some pictures in Batu. So you want to take your you want to take your pictures like that at night. So. I do, I do miss March of the First Order. That was a great show. <laughs> see, see, it says the Darth Maul dessert looks like a, a ladybug with, um, with French fries. <laughs> Just call it like it is, right? The dark side tree. So I was actually here, not not as a not to brag or anything, but I actually did make it for the very last day of the March of the First Order. It was sprinkling and raining that afternoon, so I really thought that they were going to cancel it as they normally would, but they continued on with it. And when they got to the part where they stopped, instead of doing their performance, um, they did an elongated kind of stand there, and everybody got the clap, and it was uh, quite emotional. But I don't know, I, I might have even, I don't remember if I put it up as a, as a vlog or if I've shared it on Ear to Ear Magic's YouTube. You might want to, I might want to search it out later, put it in March of the First Order on Ear to Ear Magic and see. But I remember standing here just to watch it. I might have actually, that might have been the time, the first time that I ever met um, that crazy Disney lady. I don't believe so. I think they have because they have uh, Batu now. March of the First Order is you know out in the rest of the park, and they're doing a uh, really good job of trying to keep all that inside Batu. I assume that there would be, Samantha. Lightsaber uh, photos at night are the best. So real quick while we're waiting for our chance to come up in line, let's talk about all the snacks that are going to be available here or should be available across uh, for today's Star Wars day. We'll do a quick run through. First up, they have the Jettison Juice. The Jettison Juice is Minute Maid Lemonade and Watermelon. It's non-alcoholic. It's served with a uh, glow cube. And uh, you can get this at the ABC Commissary, the Backlot Express, Pizza Rizzo, and Razzie's All-American Cafe. Again, that's the Jettison Juice. Next up is the Dark Side Chocolate Creation, which is what we're going to grab now. Uh, it's available at the Backlot Express, Pizza Rizzo, and the Charlie Carr Cafe. Next up is the Wookiee Cookie. Uh, it's available all the time, <laughs> and it's uh, over at the Backlot Express.
the Cosmic Rum Punch is available only today and tomorrow. It's available at the Brown Derby Lounge, the Oasis Canteen, and over at the Sunshine Day Bar. All three locations you can get. It's Carrot Babe Coconut Rum, Bacardi Superior Rum, Pineapple Juice, Minute Maid Lemonade, and Grenadine served with a Glow Cube. Over at Docking Bay 7, you can grab yourself the Oi Oi Puff, Raspberry Cream Puff with Passion Fruit Mousse. Over at Epic Eats, you can grab yourself the Galactic Squir Swirl Funnel Cake, black and white funnel cake with strawberries, space dust, and candied rocks. At the milk stand, they're going to have the Bubo Wamba Family Farm Cups in both blue and green. And then last but not least here at Inside the Parks is going to be the Interstellar Sweet and Crunchy Popcorn. It's going to be at the Popcorn Stands near the Hyperion Theater, Animation Courtyard, and Anaheim Produce today and through Thursday. Here is our dark chocolate creation. Oh, Jose, how are you? Doing well, thank you. Uh, just yes, and if I can get a uh, caramel frappuccino, please. What size on that? Um, let's do the venti. Venti. Whipped cream on the caramel frappuccino? Uh, yes, please. Anything else? Uh, that'll be it. Name on the order? Uh, Chris. Uh, Chris. Chris. Starbucks with lemonade. Thank you. The mango dragon fruit one. Is that side uh, in the caramel yeah. frappuccino venti? 1276 is your total credit card? Yes. Yeah. If we do, I'll buy you a little bit here. Would you like your receipt? Yes, please, sir. All right, and we'll call you at the end of the counter. Have a magical day. May the Thank fourth you. be with you. And with you as well. <laughs> Thanks, All right, so we got our dark side chocolate creation. Go outside and try this out before we get into Batu. Hopefully, it won't melt too much before we get out there. <laughs> Welcome in, Mike. I'm a little bit on the parched side, so yeah, the Cosmic Grum Punch looked like something I could down pretty easily. <laughs> well, Don, the good thing is the Wookiee Cookie is usually served all year round. Just look for it over at the Backlot Express.
feel like I should get, I had to get something to drink along with the, uh, with our snack here. All the people in front of me got their drinks. People behind me got their drinks. I'm left here by my lonesome. Thank you. All right. Let's go dig into this. Okay. Where do you want me to meet you? Take a quick picture. And then we'll uh, dig into it.
find a shaded spot to try it. Quite a few people are dressed up here. Not quite half. But we're also just on Sunset Boulevard, so. I hear the Pixar Palace cavalcade coming down around the bend. Dark side chocolate creation. Where to next, sir? We got Toy Story Land. We play Mania? We got a snake. We got a snake. I don't know what you put saucers. Good afternoon, Kelly. No, Welcome in. Saucers. Oh, there's a lightning line. I don't want to do it. Appreciate it, Jackie. Hang on. No. We don't want to lightning line. I'm trying to block some of the sunlight so you guys can see it. It's starting to melt already. Mm. Welcome in, Stitch. I think we missed you last night. I think I saw you were coming in and then didn't. Hope everything's okay. All right, so let's give it a try. Little bit, little thing. Don says, for some treats at Hollywood Studios today, to the Spire, to the Spire, happy 4th, and happy Star Wars Day, Don. Thank you so much. So, thank you guys for that. Thank you, Don. What would you think? Uh, we're going to try this. It seems so tiny. Like, little tiny. Luckily, I keep up. Cut into it, see what's on the inside. probably want to move over to the dark side for it. It's got the almond sliver on the top, shortbread cookie on the bottom. Here, 
to do this. Too shaded. That is really good. It's decadent chocolate. A raspberry filling directly in the middle. Who knew that in the center of Darth Maul's dark soul was a creamy yet soft and sweet raspberry filling? see it a little bit better that way. So thank you again, Don, for that. Appreciate the support. And thank you for making it sure we have some great treats here on Star Wars Day. I knew Ben Solo had a sweet side. <laughs> All right. Now, I'm not a big almond fan. Luckily, they're just tiny little slivers. They're really there are for decoration. They're not there to really add anything else to the dessert overall. I love the way that they've designed it to the black and the red. A little jiggly. Quite a bit of strawberry or raspberry filling in there too. So, <clears throat> good dark chocolate flavor to it. It's a little bit on the small side, but it's also a little bit more of a decadent flavor than normal. But it does fit the theme very well. So, dark chocolate, raspberry. And it's shareable. How would I rate this on a scale of one to five? I give it a four solid Brunos. My only issue with the smaller desserts, they're just smaller. So maybe get a good six bites out of it. But the one thing I do like about it is firm. Some of these desserts, especially these dome desserts, when you get them out the heat, they just melt away. It's just got some gelatin in it. Oh. Almost lost that one. There you go. <laughs> Those work too. They're not dark chocolate, but.
must use by today. Notice, it was prepped, it was made today at 2.30. Huh. Since this was just made today, so at least we know it was made fresh, right? See, it felt like a cherry. So, shall we head on into, yeah, it is extremely fresh, and they're only available today and tomorrow. So, unfortunately, if you do come on Friday, they won't have any available anymore. So, And guys, thank you for continuing to hit that subscribe button. We've had so many people join today that we are only 10, 10 members away from hitting 6,700. So welcome in to all those who've hit the button today. Glad you could become part of the channel. Who are our next 10 going to be? If you hit the subscribe button, make sure to help us out. Let us know you subscribe and uh, say hello to everybody else in the chat. Head on into about two. Let's go see if we can find some cool Oz players today. Got Chip and Dale out on the lawn this afternoon having a Star Wars Day picnic. Chip is spider chip. Spider chip and spider chip. We're guessing Marvel characters. Something about being at the Hollywood Studios makes all the characters want to have a picnic. Mickey and Minnie, Chip and Dale. Let me jump back into the chat. Thank you guys for hitting the thumbs up for us today. 
I'm not sure what our count is at the moment. I don't know if one of the mods knows. Burns, I don't know. We've been live for just over four hours. Really, the plan was today, after riding a few things in Epcot and after we rode some things yesterday, to really just kind of come over, try a treat, check it out, see what else we could find, and kind of get a feel of the Star Wars day. Downing my caramel frappuccino just to give me that extra bit of sugar. <clears throat> yeah, like I need that, right? This area's we're up to 232 likes. 18 thumbs up away from 250. Help us out, guys, if you haven't already hit that thumbs up button. You're having a good time hanging out here at Disney World. Hit the thumbs up button. It takes just a second. Helps us out. The more we get, the more it is that YouTube's going to help us in sharing out our stream. So... You, by hitting that thumbs up button, can help us find new people who could get a little bit of Disney in their day. <laughs> Live broadcast opportunities. Well, this is interesting. Number eight. Wow. Nice. I got a couple of a couple of plaques over here today. Maybe they're uh, catching people dressed up. So some of the wait times, 55 minutes from Millennium Falcon, 80 minutes for Rise of the Resistance, which is what we had yesterday. 20 minute wait to meet Sully for a meet and greet. Star Tours, 10 minutes. 10 minute wait. Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway, 35 minutes. 15 minutes shorter than it was, oh, pardon me, yesterday when we jumped in line. Kind of shocking, honestly. I was kind of funny when I was walking over there, you know, by the live opportunities, live broadcast opportunities and braid sign. I was walking by, and I heard one of the cast members goes, uh oh, we have ourselves a blogger. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really consider myself a blogger. What do you guys think when someone says, oh no, it's a blogger? I think there's a positive or a negative connotation to that. <laughs> so one of our areas you can get the rum treat that is uh, today the drink is like right over here at the oasis canteen i have a sign up i'll show it to you guys cosmic rum punch coconut rum bacardi rum pineapple juice and made premium lemonade and grenadine served with a souvenir glow cube 18 dollars Hi. How's it going? How are you? Doing are great. How are you? Right now? What's that? Are we being filmed right now? Oh, you're alive on YouTube, so. Oh, wonderful. Not Let quite me know if I need to sign a release. <laughs> I could put you on there if you love to, but then I, you know, I'd, I'd have to pay you. So I'd have to pay you. I mean, <laughs> you can just mention my channel. Okay? Just mention my there we go. There we go. Hello. How are y'all doing today? So there is one of the three locations you can get yourself the rum punch. I should have just asked him what his channel was. I could have. 
I gotta get. Uh, we'll do that on the came back through. I think his name is Kevin. Kevin without the N. By there and get him what his channel is. Let him know. So it's a 20 minute wait right now for alien swirling saucers and 55 minutes for a slinky dog. Yesterday when we were through, it was 110 minutes for a slinky. So our wait times are at least smaller than they were yesterday when we were here. Still a 10 minute wait for Star Tours is pretty cool. I wish I could take you guys on that. Make our way on over two by two. And if you're just popping into today's stream, welcome to your dear magic. Glad you could spend a little bit of time with us this on this Wednesday on May the 4th. That be the case. May the fourth be with you. The shade. See what happens when we go through the tunnel. Should get hotter, you know, they have a lot more suns than we do. So Bruins fan, yes, we are gonna be doing two more streams after today. And that is going to be on Thursday, we're going to be heading back over tomorrow to Universal Orlando Resort to have a little bit of Universal fun. And Friday, we're going to rope drop Animal Kingdom. So come and hang out with us tomorrow and Friday. And if this is your first time ever subscribing to our channel, make sure to hit the bell notification and uh, hit all videos. So the next time we are live, you can just open it up right up and it will say, hey, your dear magic is live. Come over there and have some fun with us. Oh, you're welcome, Jackie. Thank you so much for hanging out. So yesterday when we came through, it was an 80-minute wait posted for standby. I think we were on well before an hour. But we had a good ride yesterday. How's it going? It has How been a while. Doing? Last time I saw you, we were getting around back to get on the Velocicoaster. Yeah, it's been a while. How has that? Two years? Has it yeah. been two years? No, no it's, it's been, been a whole years. year because well, at least a year. Last year. That is crazy. Yeah, man. So, uh, where, where's all the cosplay? This is it. From the guy wearing an orange bird shirt. Look at me. This is it. <laughs> this is all you got. Hey, you did it much more than I did. Hey. Say, so, what if you got? Hey, would you? Uh, is that yours? Okay. Oh. That'd be weird. All right, so Sean, you know what, what did what did what did you try? We tried we tried the uh, the the dark side chocolate, which was the Darth Maul. I didn't try anything. You haven't tried anything? I haven't tried anything. Nothing yet. None of none, none, none of the crazy none of the crazy merchandise. None of that stuff. Absolutely not. We're looking for wishables, so if you can find wishables, <laughs> it's good to see you again, man. Hey, hey you still owe me a Velocicoaster ride.
good to see Sean. The last time I saw Sean, we were just about to get on the Velocicoaster for a sneak preview. So it's good to see him again. So it feels like deja vu all over again, walking in front of Rides of Resistance and seeing an 80 minute wait. And I'm glad we took advantage of it yesterday. I actually enjoyed the ride, hope you guys did too. And, and uh, according to you guys, the, uh, the video held up, so it's pretty awesome. Haven't got to ride as much, and I am really kind of shocked that it's only 80 minutes. Now, there are four different photo pass opportunities here today for Star Wars Day. This is one of them, a lightsaber shot over here by the A wing. We get another photo pass photographer over to our left doing another shot. I know there is a saber training shot. And... Uh, I think there's one more over there by the Troy Station. We'll keep a lookout for them and see what we can find. I say when you purchase the, the PhotoPass Memory Maker, if there are special shots, special magic shots, go for it. Take advantage of it. Looks like we've got another PhotoPass photographer over here taking some special shots. People are taking advantage of the shade as they wait. Marketplace! So yeah, we can't, they won't let us keep the cameras out on Star Tours. It's mainly, honestly, it's mainly because it's a simulator and you get bounced around. They don't want you to keep any items out. So they want you to keep all your picture items away, which is kind of where we kind of get sometimes in trouble on Millennium Falcon for the same thing. They would rather me not have a camera out because I'm afraid if I were to drop it when the place gets moving around that somebody might get hurt with an item flying around. Loose items can hurt people. I was just thinking, you know, it's almost 90 degrees here. I would really love to own a black cloak. How cool is that? Be? Jordan, welcome in. I right, haven't surgery in a couple of weeks. Well, I hope that the surgery goes amazingly well and you find yourself back onto our streams soon afterwards. And when you're ready to jump back in and hang out with us, we'll be so happy to see you back. So do me, do us all a favor before, at least one more time before you go into surgery, come on and let us know when your surgery is gonna be. We'll keep an eye out for you when you're coming back in. Love to wish you, uh, Wish you a well return. <laughs> where, where are all of our cosplayers, huh? Got a few here and there. Good, good scans, good doctors, good surgery, good results. Thinking very positive. Looking forward to having you back on our lives when your surgery is done. Until then, we'd love to have you on and forget about everything else and just restore yourself for a bit. Always a pleasure to see you in the chat. It's a 
some stormtroopers out. Additional scanning today. Welcome in, Jonathan. Happy Star Wars Day. <laughs> Please remain calm. So my guess is that while you may not see as many right now, but as the night goes on, you're gonna see a whole lot more of those dressed up, especially as the end of the day goes through. You're gonna see a lot more lightsabers out. I believe there is a lightsaber meetup tonight for some special shots in the night in front of the Millennium Falcon, as, as is customary. I love the fact that they have a more than usual photo pass photographers out for today and tomorrow. You made it! You made it! We saw you guys over Connections Eatery earlier. We did. We did. We had a great morning. It was actually, we love Connections. That is our favorite place. Yeah, we're not just buying the same way. What's your favorite thing to eat there? Um, the General Group. I had the General Group's chicken this morning for, yeah, for the salad. It was really good. So good. The chicken sandwich is really good. I know. I, we got somebody in the crew who says us I should try the hamburger chicken next time. Yeah. And the bomb meat is really good. Is it? Yeah. And then I haven't done the liege waffle just yet. I, I, I have an unpopular opinion that as much as I love waffles, to me they just seem commonplace. I know, I know what you're saying. So I don't think of it as like a dessert, like it's a special thing. Exactly. But it's very good, it's very different. It was nice to watch them make it through the windows this morning. That was kind of cool. Oh, yeah. But well, they kind of have to be because they're right there by windows, so you know, you, yeah. you kind of. They have. They technically have. You gotta to be. perform. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're on the spot all the time. Yeah. So, did you guys try any Star Wars treats for today? We did. Yeah, we tried the uh, lightsaber churros. Well, okay. Where did you guys get it at? So we got it actually at the little vendor kiosk next to Minnie and Nikki's on Railway. On Railway. Okay. Okay, and we got a red one and a blue one. Yeah, did you get a picture? Did you just do dueling with the with we the two? Did. Yeah, we actually put on our TikTok page. Yeah. Uh, DMC Park Hoppers. But the thing with the lightsabers, we would think that it would be maybe cherry and blue raspberry. There was no flavoring. No flavor. It was all uh, color. Yeah. It was just colored sugar. Huh. Yeah. So we thought oh, it was well. Really interesting because it would have been nice. Yeah, I would have liked a different color, like, you know, a different flavor to it. I yeah. Too, but they did give you chocolate sauce for dipping. But we're not big chocolate sauce oh. It's almost like something really give you I'm like, ah, we don't really need it. <laughs> so if you, we get enough sugar. What do you do with it if you don't eat it? What do you do with this thing of chocolate? Uh, <laughs> well, I had the dark side chocolate creation, which was over. I got it over at the uh, the, the trolley car cafe. Okay. Oh, yeah. um, just grab it out of the, the case there when you get your Starbucks. It was really good. It was really decadent. It was actually, I think they put some gelatin in there because it really held its case really well. Oh. Lots of times those domes kind of like melt very quickly in the heat. Right. This one stayed together very long. Um, but it was it was decent, it was good. Um, it was a little on the small side. But, you know, the fancy desserts tend to get smaller. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's, 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 yeah. that's what happens, that, exactly. But it was, it was really good, if you, especially if you like dark chocolate. So, well, I, uh, I ran into you guys this morning over in Epcot. Uh, we're live on YouTube, but you guys are on TikTok. Go ahead and plug your uh, your TikTok account. Uh, yeah, so it's DVC underscore park underscore hoppers. So DVC underscore park underscore hoppers. Yes, yeah. so we, we are we are we have a TikTok yeah. stream. We live stream as well. We also cool. have a YouTube channel, not as good as yours. Like yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I I don't I really don't think I have that good of a YouTube channel. Uh, we just kind of turn it on and have fun. Yeah, but that's that's what it's all about. Having it really fun. is. It really is. That's really what it is. Um, and we have. 
his channel and a lot of kind of the last one we just did was the one spectacular versus Indiana Jones. So we mm -hmm. did a lot of that comparison. Um, and then we also have our Instagram page. Sweet. What is it over on Instagram? So it's exactly the same, same thing. thing. DBC yeah. underscore yeah. park yeah. underscore hoppers. Yep. Got it. Hey, we, we love you though. It's awesome. Oh, I appreciate it. Well, thank you guys for saying hello this morning. It's good to see you again. Yeah, it was awesome. We, we rode the Skyliner over and I was thinking the whole time, I'm like, are we going to get in? It doesn't seem no, you know what? that crowded. It doesn't really seem that crowded. We thought because it was going to be, you know, back and full Yeah. Wait times today are just a little bit shorter than they were. I was here yesterday, and they're a little bit smaller, if not the same as they were yesterday. I know. I know. I know. We were here a couple of days ago ourselves, and it seemed actually like they are actually less today. It was 110 minutes for Slinky Dog yesterday, and today that's 80 minutes. Wow. I know, yeah. Or 75 minutes. A couple of days ago, um, Raj is 125. It's like, I think it's 95. Yeah. So it was 80 when we just walked by wow. just now. Wow. And we rode it yesterday at 80. But we got on in less than an hour. Yeah, see? Well, we so. have a lightning lane in about 10 minutes, so we're excited. Go for it. Keep your mouth shut. Don't tell them where we're at. I know. So, it was good to see you guys again. Awesome. And you guys, if you guys are over on TikTok or Instagram, go check them out and uh, say hello to some uh, fellow Disney creators. So, good to meet you guys. You so nice much. to meet you guys. Have fun. Day. We'll see you guys later. Oh, Sarah. Oh, Sarah. Oh, Sarah, 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 Sarah. He's out. He's out. <gasps> Who is that dark, tall, and shrouded man? <laughs> it's the first time we've seen Kylo in a while. Is it Batman? <laughs> it's Batman. <laughs> Uh, Anthony wants to know, do I know anything about any construction in Batu? You know, it, nothing new. Nothing that I've seen art about so far. No, look, they're not scary at all. See? Not scary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're smart. They're staying in the shade. I would too. They're gonna destroy us. Have a pleasant day. That's not. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're going to destroy you. Have a pleasant day. <laughs> they're so nice right before they're going to destroy our civilization. And he's out of here.
Does he know he's by himself? He can't. They left him. <laughs> he turns around. His buddies are gone. Shade. Shade. We made it to shade. I know we haven't seen Kylo up on that stage in a while, so I knew Sarah was going to be excited. I am really kind of shocked at how not crowded it is today. I'm going to head over to the shaded area so I can see your comments again. So the question is, should we put the gimbal away and go for a ride on the Smuggler's Run to close out our stream today being Star Wars Day? Well, we're glad to always have you in, Jordan. It's what we like about this stream is we want to make sure that people feel welcome. It's the stream belongs to them. You are part of it. You are seen. You are heard. And we are glad that you're here. Fifty-five minute standby wait. <laughs> are you guys are you guys in line for it? Okay. Waiting for a Hello. Yes. Boom, thank you guys for hitting the likes up for today. It means we have hit 250 likes. Thank you guys for that. The 
thumbs up helps us out when it comes to analytics. It's the easiest way. Thank you guys so much for allowing us the opportunity to do it. Let's go this way. So the last time we rode, we got a little bit of trouble when during the ride. So I think today I'm going to take it, the camera off the gimbal and just hold the camera. Make it a little easier. Ooh, how's it going? What's that? Oh, good air? Oh, I love those vents. There's <laughs> some nerfy looking, scruffy looking nerf riggers around. <laughs> Even one behind the camera. Well, I'm glad you could watch along with us. Yes, thank you for the PayPal, Don. We grabbed the treat over at the Charlie Car Cafe. Hey, Amber, did you see how many uh, parties are in there? <laughs> so I'm going to take a few things off. We're going to start deconstructing our gimbal. Fancy Nancy's going to let a few things go. Let it go, let it go. Fancy Nancy, let it go, let it go, let it go. guys are just joining us we're over here in the millennium falcon smugglers run just jumped in the single riders line about to board our ship engineer status fancy nancy's being put away we're ready to go welcome to men special eddie glad to have you with us 
I all the way down the hallway is that okay? And may the sure. fourth be with you. a first order trade shipment of Coaxia. Gunners, you clear the path. Pilots, line up behind the train. And engineers, you harpoon that precious cargo. And as we always say here, at the Nucca Transport Solutions, get out of here and go make all those of money. <laughs> that makes you wonder why they say that here. Permanezcan sentados y cuide a los niños. Gracias. Yeah. Yeah. Please don't need bags and cargo at your feet or not. Come next to you. Please don't forget to buckle it. Go across the box with the bottle to the aisle. Keep on that there. Once you're buckled, you've got to get your bags. Right, thank you. Everyone, you're welcome. Good. Hey, now. Dive in, buddy. Don't worry about it. Hey, Mike, you're a good idea. I want that flag! Be faster when we get the right pilot, push the flashing button to take off. Pilot on the left, move your stick to fly right and left. I was just about to say that. Pilot on the right, pull the back on the stick to fly out. Push to fly down. Oh! oh. This thing will be the end. Weapons are on that. Left pilot, keep the goosebumps. Now let's go get that coaxia. Right pilot, make the jump to light speed. Whoa, light speed! Great job, Patrick. You retrieved one 
container of Kovacia. That's it. This would greatly help the resistance. You have heard the first order and made Chewie proud. Now after my modest profit, your god minus what you owe me for damaging the Falcon is oh, all that is rough. All right, I am making an executive decision. Everybody out. Go on, go on, get out. Sorry for the video. Oh no, that was great. <laughs> All right, hang on one second. Fancy Nancy is all tangled up. Shoot. All available text. We have a brilliant freighter that needs a guys think it was a crazy run I could have sworn we were gonna get that second coaxium I harpooned it pretty quickly oh I didn't I don't think we, we didn't get it pulled off in time Usually it's okay if you don't get hit or scrape a little too much. We took a couple of big bumps here and there. Wasn't too, too bad. But we made it. Pretty good time, too. So, single rider line, if you can use it, use it. Make the most out of your trip. Especially if you're okay with riding with complete strangers who get really, really excited over falling down a shaft in the middle of a planet that's, well, you know. <laughs> Legacy lightsaber line. The Den and Antiquities.
got the people waiting to build their lightsabers here at the workshop. And of course, guest in here at the Droid Depot Center. Making some droids. Making some droids. Making some droids. Welcome in, Wendy. Good to see you. Happy Star Wars Day. Well, Naomi, here's the thing. is uh, Susan doesn't do well on too many simulator rides. She tries everything at least once. I can't remember if uh, that's one of the ones that she has a problem with multiple times, but she uh, we're gonna, she's going to give Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind a chance next Monday at our sneak preview. She's committed to riding everything at least once just so she can talk to it from a stem for, you know, we have travel clients who ask, and she wants to say she's at least tried it one time. Hey, let's repeat the joke we heard told to us by cast members. We entered the park this afternoon. What do you call a droid who gives bad directions? R2 detour. That's a cool mixing ball. A little more of it, but still cool. Welcome in, Anthony. I think they're the latest and greatest heroes to many people in the Star Wars area. Grogu and Mando. I think, you know, I don't know if we had any idea just how popular those characters were going to be ahead of time. Um, I did not, Don. I didn't see. They didn't have anything listed. Are you guys the end of the line at the moment? I'll 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 take this I'll take that title away from you. We'll grab one of our special photo pass spots here. See what we can get. So we'll get one, at least one of the photo pass pictures today, and I'll post it on Instagram a little bit later. back up here. Jackie says, bye Chris and the Magic Crew. Have a magical afternoon. You too, Jackie. Thank you so much for popping in. We're getting close to closing out our stream today. We're up to 262 likes. Thank you guys so much. Every time you guys do that, it doesn't cost a thing to hit that like button. 
and you just don't know how much of a difference that makes as far as a growing community because the more people that are chatting the more chats that there are and the more likes we get is all used by YouTube to determine which streams they feel are the most popular having the most fun and they're the ones that they'll send people to if they walk in uh, just randomly and go I want to see something Disney World you guys make that possible I can't influence that I can't change that so thank you guys so much for helping us to make that happen Mike, uh, welcome in. <laughs> Mike T, I'm disappointed at the lack of Boba Fett in the park. Yes. A huge lack of Boba Fett and Mandalorian. Can you imagine if we had a walking Grogu, just like little bitty Grogu just walking around in the area? Are you mean what? Yes. Last one in line. I have no idea what magic shots of shots we have. <laughs> hello, hello, how are you, Brenna? Any any cool Batu photos we need to get special for today? If you have a scrap metal with you, it will be very efficient to do the little droid trailer right. that we have. Hope we don't have one of those, if do we? If not, it's actually a pull. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. But we are actually doing it just if you have a lightsaber with you. Uh, see, and I don't have the scrap with me. But we do have... The only scrap I have is this little thing. No! <laughs> I mean, it's a your device, which is really interesting to you. It's a, re it's a really good recording data device, but other than that, you know, it doesn't really do much for the fence. Oh, interesting. So, but we can get just a regular shot if that's okay. Yeah, that's totally fine. But we do have our um, photo scans for um, Boba Buffett by the Marketplace. Okay. It's like the big piece. Yes. There, and then we have the Boba Fett ship over there. We have to have the sky, though. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, all right. Yeah, it's a very this is our this is sort of like our Jedi of Earth. Yeah. Really? Yeah, he's he's, he's he's pretty he's pretty stuck. He's pretty like he uh like a porg, but more powerful. Like a porg powerful? Yeah. Interesting. He gets you know squeezes the juice out of people. I'm sure so he looks smaller. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> I'll make it offer him some milk sometimes. That'd be awesome. Absolutely. They should have orange milk on here. That'd be great. I said, what's the best dance? What's the best dance? I can project. Nice. Thank Yeah. 
Right, sons into the spire. I did, I found my hat. We just got in, so he's over that way. It's hot. It's a crazy one. It really is a hot day. So we were gonna go on ride to the resistance it down. Oh, is it down? Mm -hmm. It was uh, 80 minutes earlier when we came it in. It was, and we were going to go stand in line, but it's down. Hopefully, it'll pick back up. Uh, don't be kneeling on your knee. <laughs> it's done quite well. It's my back that was the, whole, but the worst part. My back was all wrenched out from when I fell and didn't know it until two anyway, days afterwards. I told Teresa, I'm like, if I see Chris, I'm going to say hi. I'm glad you got your place so glad to be in it it makes a big difference now when we now i can say i can go home and i don't have to pack all my stuff up every day it makes a, a huge difference because our lease is up in september how much you're going to raise it well we know ours went up six hundred dollars which is why we had to go someplace else else it's crazy it's crazy so let's just hope that your your uh your landlord is not going to make a big deal about it and just, it's easier just to keep you where you're at yeah so let's hope so. This is a lot of mess uh, having to do with that. It's good to see you, and uh, hopefully we'll be back up, and you guys can go back and ride. So happy Star Wars Day! All right, Magic Crew. It has been an awesome, fun day hanging out with you today here, at both Epcot and Hollywood Studios. We're gonna close on out for today. Because, well, can't have too much fun. we got to save a little bit for tomorrow. And tomorrow, we're going to be back at it. Back at Universal Orlando Resort. For our friends over at Universal. See what's going on over there now that uh, Mardi Gras has officially concluded. I might still wear my Mardi Gras shirt, though. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, come and hang out with us tomorrow at Mardi... Not Mardi Gras. At Universal. Uh, tomorrow afternoon. And on Friday, we're going to be rope dropping Animal Kingdom again. Who wants to see and ride uh, Expedition Everest again? Because I really enjoyed doing that last time. That was a lot of fun. So, to everybody, thank you so much for everything you do to support us here at Ear to Ear Magic. Uh, I am greatly appreciative of the fact that we have got such a wonderful uh, crew overall. Very supportive, very uh, positive, and that's the main thing that we want to make sure that everybody leaves our streams with a smile on their face and a smile that goes from ear to ear. As always, when you guys are ready to go for your next travel, if you want a vacation, wherever it may be, at Walt Disney, Universal Cruising, or anywhere, actually, we'd love for you guys to reach out to us and give us an opportunity to help with uh, your next travel, booking and planning for no fees whatsoever, and uh, let us know how we can help. Just make sure to give us an uh, uh, email out there. Let us know when you like to travel, where you like to travel, how many people apart are going to be in your party, and let's see what we can do to help you guys out. Send me an email over at Chris Edwards at TravelMission.net. Make sure to copy Susan at Susan Edwards at TravelMission.net. And let's see if we can help you guys book and plan your next vacation. Thank you guys for hanging out for the live stream. We're going to be back tomorrow over at Universal. And then we'll see you guys in the parks. Have a wonderful afternoon. We'll see you real soon.